Hey, everybody, welcome to episode 459 of the AAA Mean. Them's the breaks. And yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I got my YouTube display all switched around. Sinatra's got his XL switched around and then chat all switched around. And it, it's annoying. And my left ear's plugged and fucked up. Sinatra's got an ear infection. But Drunkle's here. So he's going to be the, the rudder for the show, I guess. God help oh, for, us all. For, for a change. Yeah. Yeah. How's, how's it going there, Drunkle? Drunkle, Drunkle? I mean, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I've, 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 I've not heard back from the fucking the people about the new flat. So I'm assuming that it's not available anymore, which is a shame. But my ear's fine. <laughs> well, that's something. You haven't heard. Yeah. You, okay, wait. You're you're expecting to hear back from, but you haven't heard back from, which means they gave it to someone else. Is that what you're saying? Probably. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I sent him an email. Six a.m. Monday morning. I was I was an eager beaver, mate. I'm like, let's fucking get this show on the road. Yeah. And I'm interested in in having a viewing. No, I had anything from him. No, so that's no. that's that's not good news, is it? Is yeah, that it shit? Six a.m. Really? Early bird gets the gawk. Yeah, I went back to bed afterwards. Okay. But yeah, well, fucking nothing. Nothing. Bastards. So I mean, I I gotta call them tomorrow, and then, and they'll be like, "Oh, sorry, it's gone." I'll be like, oh, "Take off your fucking website then," and I'll spit down the phone at them. Oh, that'll do the trick. I'll, I'll send them an email, right? And attached will be like a bag of poo, flaming an image of a bag, bag of, poo. of poo, a flaming bag of poo. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. So then, when that. they put it out, they get poo all over their computer. I've heard that's the thing. I don't know if that works, but I don't know. Yeah, I've always wanted to try that prank. It's just like the upper deck. You want to do it at least once. Yeah, but you, I mean, it's not the kind of thing you could brag about, though, you know. But the upper deck or the yeah, yeah. I mean, the upper decker. Yeah, if you've done it, like <clears throat> you keep that shit to yourself. You don't want people knowing that you're the kind of guy who does that. Uh, depends on who your friends are. <laughs> are they going to be your friends for long? I'll be like, fucking don't mess with Polly. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that or they just might get real fucking polite. So don't fuck with that guy, man. He'll, he'll, he'll do scatological humor, man. That guy's crazy. Mm. No, it'd be like you'll be around the house and you go, oh, can I just quickly use your bathroom? And they'll go, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I did used to, uh, when uh, I worked uh, with people, you know, you email the <laughs> IT department. <laughs> yeah. You email the IT department, so you know they, they fix something for you, and you go, "Oh, thank you so much." Uh, you just my glad we're not people, Polly. I've no, <laughs> not, are you? Uh, I'd be like, um, "Thank you so much." Uh, I've attached a pack of biscuits to this email to say thank you, and like I have attached a photo of a pack of biscuits. They used to love that. It always made people laugh. That always landed well. One time, they actually sent me um, a packet of empty biscuits back, going like, "Oh, thank you so much. We really enjoyed those." IT people love shit like that, man. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that they were... Uh, they, they, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know. They seem like a sour bunch of people. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's because people are just so mean to them. You're finally nice to Maybe them. Maybe it's because just, yeah. you gave them an upper decker. Maybe that's just why they're sour towards you, Polly. One time, you shit in a guy's fucking back flushing mechanism at a party <laughs> because he was taking computer science and fuck him. And they go, oh, yeah, well, man. He no. and the water that supplies their bidet. Ooh. Oh, that's extra evil, isn't it? It is bad, isn't it? It'd be like, oh, do you, you got a bidet? You feel nice and clean, do you? That's we. <laughs> that's my we. <laughs> you tell him Steve Dave before he went live. Thank you for the dollar sixty nine. Disgraceful adjective. Definition. Something that's so full of shit because of the lack of any sort of grace. So they never get laid. Example. Chat so disgraceful, smash the like button, or get bent. Fuck wits. Wow. So we're off to a great start. That's just, Thank mm. you, Steve Dave. That's his. Just... That's your standard Steve Dave start, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah, you know how it is. It's a, uh, 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 Sinatra. Yes. How's things with you? Oh, I can complain, but I'm not going to. Are you sure? Yeah, this I I forgot what how bad an ear infection really hurts. Welcome to my world. Like it is very uncomfortable to say the least. Yeah, it really is. Now, they they thought I had one 
like a month ago because my ear was red. It turns out it was just my tonsils, mm -hmm. but it wasn't an actual ear infection. Now that it's an ear infection, oh God, this is, I, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. The, you know, the thing I hate the most, because it's a, for me, it's, 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 you know, a vestibular migraine thing. It's, it's got to do with the vertigo. It's not an actual infection. It's part of Meniere's disease. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's really painful. And it's, a, it's the throbbing when the ear gets plugged. Cause that's the way it feels. Just, oh yeah. Yeah. Meniere's disease, unexplained fluid buildup in the inner ear. And you whoosh, 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 the, the, the blood in your ear. Oh man. It, you know, it was bugging me last night before I went to bed. I'm like, eh. And so I cleaned it out when I got out of the shower. It and it was like, it it did temporarily, but then during the night, I woke up like, damn, this this is really fucking not feeling good. Then I went to the gym this morning. I just put it out of my head. I went to the gym, and I put my went to put my earphone in, and I couldn't even put it in. It hurt so fucking Ooh, bad. Boy. So I, I went to urgent care, and I go through the whole thing. They take my vitals, all that stuff. The doctor looks in my right ear. She's like, this isn't too bad. She goes to my left ear, doesn't even get it in all the way, and goes, ooh. Like, oh, oh, no. Fuck. That's a bad sound from a Like, doctor. is it that bad? She goes, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> You'll um, use your phone to take a photo of it and then look at it. No, I don't want to do that. Thank you. Mm. And she's like, we're going to send over, uh, we're going to get you a Z pack and some eardrops and probably some ibuprofen, too. Good lord. I, okay, I look, I know that sounds bad. And she's like, did you have a head cold or something? And I was like, yeah, I had a head cold. I was just stuffy. I thought it was allergies. Then that kind of went away. And she's like, it goes right into the ear. Hmm. So, what else? Get Shelly to do it? No, I'm not putting her up to that. What were you going to say, Polly? What the hell was I going to say? Did my internet die? No. No, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's your ear. Your other ear is infected. Now you just can't hear anything. I don't, you know, I'm not a fan when they put the, okay, so, okay, this is going to sound bad, but, okay, but at least they saw something. It's not fun when they put the eroscope. I can never remember the name of that damn thing. It, it, it's the eroscope now. Yes. Well, you know the the thing I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, they they put the earscope up in your ear and then they look and the doctor's like, no, I don't see any problem in there. And it's like, you know, and while they did it, it's like whoosh, 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 and just them grabbing my ear made the whole room spin, uh, you know, because that's that's what caused the vertigo is the unexplained fluid buildup in your inner ear. And it's like, oh yeah, everything looks fine in there. No, I I want them to look in my ear and go, oh my god, like you know, from the swelling or whatever. But no, 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 they can't see anything through the earscope because. <laughs> In the blessing, is, is, that, is that far inside the labyrinth? I love that they actually call it the labyrinth. It makes it sound like there's a minotaur in there, and, a, and a, a, you know, yeah, yeah. So, anywho, it it it, it sucks, and there's no there's no medication that can even help. It's it's fucking balls, man, balls. But you know, hey, what are you gonna do? And, you know, at least I get to bend over and complain throw about up. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know, life goes oh. on. Did someone actually throw up? Then what was that? Fucking. Hell. Yeah, it sounded wet, Polly. You all right? You get <laughs> wet, wet, well, Polly, I was just sitting here quietly, <laughs> and then you know, came up in my ear. I can't say ears because I only heard it in one. That came out of your ear? No, no oh, it came into it's my ear from whichever infection. one you bastards did it. You sick fucks. Does, that doesn't sound like an infection. It sounds like a fucking possession. Yeah. Did, did your like ear just throw up? Not. It sounded like someone threw it up in my ear. You got Darren Rico, and I think that's called swimmer's ear. If you ever do have swimmer's ear, we just got, you know you got we got water stuck in your ear after you've been swimming. That's how it sounds. You just can't sound, you just can't hear out of your ear. But there's no water stuck in my ear canal. It's just uh, you know. Oh, uh, but when that water finally comes out, oh, oh, isn't feeling. it glorious? Yeah. Oh man, something the other side of your head, hoping that it'll drain out. You know. Fuck. Yeah. Great. So YouTube has switched around for me and it's fucking annoying me. I don't understand what's going on. It, 
the progress. It's progress. Well, I, you can call it that. Don't feel that way. It's what they call it. Well, yeah. I I looked up. No, uh, oh, excuse me. I looked up uh, in YouTube Studio. You know, it tells you how your last videos were doing. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember your analytics that. and whatnot. Uh, yeah, your analytics and, and, and your what's and who's it's and whatnot. Uh, and it says that, uh, I don't know what's going on, but people are suddenly watching a couple of videos that I put up a little while back. Um, everybody has the one option. is doing quite well for some reason. And uh, uh, do you want to live? is doing quite well for some reason. I don't get why people are looking up my uh, call for help series, but you know, yeah, they are. Because they're timeless classics. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I really thought of them that way, but there they are. Uh, yeah, curse you, algorithm. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I haven't looked up YouTube in a while because I've been quite ill. I just haven't been on YouTube. I've been watching YouTube pretty much on my phone, and that's it. And anyway, so the whole YouTube-ism has completely switched around, and it's pissing me off. Here, look. Look, look here. I'll just share my screen and fucking show you instead of trying to describe it. Pictures worth a thousand words and whatnot. Um, have you read Helsing yet, Polly? No. Is in Van? That's what I'm assuming. You mean, you mean Van Helsing Party Liaison. You mean the comics is his, is his? Played by Ron Reynolds. Well, is there any other? Hey, stop it. Stop it. Didn't, uh, what's his name? Hawkeye got hit by a fucking snowmobile. He played a Van Helsing, didn't he? I think so. Uh, yeah, I think he did. It was an awful film. It was not great. Mm. What's his name? Uh, Jeremy Renner. Thank you. I was thinking Brad Wellington. I don't know why. <coughs> I was about to, I was to say, what, isn't it Doctor? Like Doctor Van Helsing? I, I, I kind of lost track what was being said. Was he a doctor? What kind of doctor? Like a doctor of education? I think a he was a who? I think he was a self-appointed doctor. I don't really think he was a doctor of anything. Oh, like like Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, when a guy shows up with garlic and steaks and a fucking, you know, doctor's kit talking about, you know, here's how we kill Nosferatu. You know, really, where yeah. did you go to school? Come on. I mean, the medicine was quite crude back then, though, in, in Nosferatu times. I mean, really, the only way of solving vampirism was by bleeding. I, we don't really just ended up attracting them. Shows what they know. I... That's why they crave blood, though, Polly, is uh, the lack of vitamin D that you would normally get from the sun. Well, why do you think I take vitamin D supplements? Because you're a, you're a Nosferatu. Well, I don't... You're a Dracula. I don't go near Day Moon. Okay, now Shadow Claw. Thank uh -huh. you for the dollar. Hey, yo, invest in Woo! Gamers. All right, now just just wait for my fucking test. E to the dubs. I want to die. Why do you keep screaming, bro? I crave the grave. Thank you for stoning you for the twenty-five dollars. Cheers to the host and the chat for the best damn entertaining and informative stream on all the interwebs. Love you. Five point nine 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 percent homo. Got a meatball okay. on deck for sin there, Polly. You're damn right I nice. do. You're damn meatballs right. On I deck. Do. It uh, is an informative grab... stream. You you have no idea. When we were playing um uh Fibbage on Sunday, the Jackbox game, mm -hmm. the amount of things that came up that people knew the answer to because it was articles that we had covered on this show. What? It is an informative show. Did you do that on purpose? Uh, let me grab this one real quick. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Blackout for the 777. You ever get into an argument about a 90s Civic with a laptop and its ability to smoke anything it wants? About a 90s Civic with a laptop and its ability to smoke anything it wants. A Honda Civic? Yeah, what the I f think so. I'm not sure what you're getting at there, J or, uh, JK. Uh, Blackout, but thank you. You all right there, Blackout? Hmm. You've been arguing with cars again. With their laptops. Well, what have you been smoking? That's what I mean. <laughs> to this follow smoking something, but the Shadow Claw, thank you for the dollar. They might be looking at those videos because maybe they crave the grave as well. But I mean, it's not like they're named that. You know, something because you know, the then the other video, Three Days of Night, that got a Fucking self-harm warning, YouTube. Fuck you. I, I like 
crave the grave. That's nice. Yeah, you know? that's. You yearn the urn. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the other side of it actually. We just, we, it's, it's a it's a noir bar thing that's been running. So what? I crave the grave, and people are like I want that on a T-shirt. I'm like, you guys are missing. It's not supposed to be a joke. Why is everyone taking my cry for help series as a bunch of jet fucking fuck? Okay, here, take a look at this. See the way it's all switched around. This is the way my. This is the way I don't my, like it. Uh, this is the way my YouTube looks now. Okay, all the stuff. Change. Why? Why? Like everything that used to be like. That is new. Yeah, the video description is now off the side like this. The comments are right beneath it, and then look at all the video descriptions. Is is is. Or excuse me, the recommends are all down here in, that, in grid format. Is that so they can fit more recommended videos in? Is that what's going on? The, when Maybe. It came, when, I mean, when this came up late last night, early this morning, whichever way you want to look at it, I'm like, am I on a mobile version? What have I done? Did I hit like, did I hit F6 and F13 together? What the What's happening? I don't know. I still don't get it. I still I'll do it. I still We'd, do what people did with when like Facebook changed. Get everyone to make a Facebook status petitioning for the old one back. Because that worked. <laughs> they did it? They did a change.org petition? And just, you know, people just hopped right to it? No, I know. If they did an actual petition, it would have done better. But you no, know, it was a copy and paste this status to your Facebook timeline to show you want the old one back. You know, like, it was fucking ridiculous. It was like when people found out that Facebook was, you know, using your information. And and so there was a thing going around saying like I do not give permission for Facebook to use my my uh, information my details my information, and everyone was copy and pasting that thinking it fucking did anything. But then everybody immediately sent nudes when they asked, so you know you can't trust people. Remember that when YouTube yeah. wanted nudes? That kind of classic. But look at the giant yellow well, screen. I haven't actually watched this. This is a brand new video someone posted. An interview with Ruth Payne. Hold on. Let's, right. Let, let's just... What, the Ruth Payne? Yeah. The one and only. There she is. Go, Ruth Payne. Look at that microphone. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, fantastic. That is a thick cable. Or is that a garden hose? I don't know. I, the... <laughs> right. It's just about spray water in her face. <laughs> it? Yeah, right. It's just, it's... And that man's been gumshooing around town. Look at them souls. We're supposed to buff the bottom of, bottom of them, god damn it. He's the walking man's interviewer. You think KT, KRLD has this on, uh, what do you want ever want to call it? A, 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 a copyright? So, uh, I mean, there, there, probably, there's a actually. bit of a tri trivia for you. That, so, you know, who the hell is Ruth Payne? This is the woman who owned the house in uh, Oak Cliff, I think was the section of Dallas where her house was. Uh, and... Marina and Lee Harvey Oswald were living there, but mostly Marina Oswald was living there with her. And Lee had stayed with her the night before, even though he had a rooming apartment that was closer to where he worked, famously at the Texas Book Depository, Texas School Book Depository. Book Depository. Yeah, so his rifle was stored in her garage, and he had stayed with her the... Uh, I bet it was. Yeah. <laughs> The, the th <laughs> stay with her the Thursday before so she speaks Russian and that's why they ended up moving in because uh, they had struck up a friendship with Marina Oswald who was Russian and they spoke Russian together you know who was in her Russian class with Marina uh, Vladimir Putin no Porkins Vladimir Dragunov oh. who's Porkins the pig no the the guy from the X-Wing squadron that ran on the Death Star, Porkins, the big fat guy that was- Are you telling me Star Wars was real? <laughs> no, I mean the actor who played him. Hmm. That guy has a weird, like he's like the Forrest Gump of American history. Porkins just pops up all over the place. He's met presidents. <laughs> he hung out with a presidential assassin. It's like, what is it with you, man? Why have you been everywhere? And this is the guy who played the dude who tasked Indiana Jones with going and finding the Ark of the Covenant. He was that guy who showed up. Like, that guy's been in movies. He also played, uh, uh, he was the uh, guy who threatened Jack Nicholson in, in 1989, Tim Burton's Batman. Same actor. Who threatened him? Yeah. Where you been spending your nights, Jack? 
all right, look, I'm going to Google Porkins. And <laughs> I, I, you think I'm, I'm making I'm it up, up right? I just... Up. <laughs> Eckhart. Lieutenant Eckhart was the guy's name. William Hootkins. <laughs> yeah. Porkins. Well, that's the hilarity, man, that they, you know, they called the guy fucking Porkins, and that was really his name. I hope we get the same. There's a photo of him with a pipe, which well, is just amazing. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's a canned ham with eyes and a beard. Yeah, right. He's, he's in a ham box. Yeah. He is in a ham box. I'm sorry, but what? Why is he brought up again? Like, what was the thread that led to this guy? <laughs> I think you lost me in the sauce somewhere. No, no, it's, it's understandable. He, okay. This lady. <laughs> okay. So, Lee Harvey Oswald, who. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you, you just you, like, I can't connect just it. clicked all in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ran Russian classes. And in a Russian class was this guy, Porkins. I, what were you doing there, Porkins? What were you doing hanging out at the White House later? Why did you go task Indiana Jones with finding the, 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 the Lost <laughs> Ark of the Covenant? It was, it was research for a role. Uh, the, If the Empire captured him, would that have made him purloined Porkins? Yes. Oh my god, they've got like, oh, who doesn't want a bust of Porkins? <laughs> Look at that! Why does this exist? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! Look how he's reaching with his other hand for like a sausage roll right now. Well. <laughs> he's not nearly fat enough. There's a, it's a great moment when uh, they're, 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 they're flying into the Death Star and, 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 and the, the turbulence starts and this guy's shaking and his cheeks and jowls are just jiggling away. And it's like, come That's on, acting. man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's just rumbling himself on his big fat ass. But this is not a fat man. Like, this guy's like, I mean, come on. His, his, his lubber, lubber is, is coming out over his chin here. I mean, this guy's disgusting. Look, 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 look how they slimmed him down for his model. Oh, I didn't want to use too much material. Well, you know. Exclusive Star Wars Jack Porkins mini bust. The toy arc. Arc. Arc of the Covenant that he tasked Indiana Jones with. See? Oh, another link. Yeah. Looks like John Tron. It's cold. They called him Porkins. <laughs> I know. I. It... <laughs> Are they, the, the other members of the of Red Squad, they don't say their name over and over again. Porkins, they do. Porkins, are you still there? Are you, that name? <laughs> that is no moon. It's a space station. All right. It's Porkins. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So there's a, a, a Sinatra turned into, the you know, not the greatest meatball evolution, but the finest of the meatballs. The meatball sub. Look at that melty cheese. Look how delicious it looks. Mm. Yeah. And if you want, there's one more evolution for him left. Of course, the kaiju meatball. Because, you know, what more could you ask for than a giant threatening meatball? It's a giant meatball that contains spaghetti at its core. Because that's just cool. That is, yeah, it's like a, an inverted bolognese. Yep. I well, like it. It wasn't easy to find a giant meatball that could, like, overtake the entire sitting room with spaghetti in the center. <clears throat> Boom. Hmm. So, it's like uh, g uh, uh, d news. Yes, we would. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do. I, I <laughs> selling that. <laughs> Jump in and save there for you. <laughs> <laughs> would you guys like to do some news? I would love to do some news. I can't wait till I fucking feel better and I can actually English properly and in, in, in a reasonable direction. But you know, hey, moving on. Boom. Spine implants worth over a hundred thousand dollars stole from a car city, car stole in, but stole from a car in Center City. <laughs> Good uh, God! Did they take it out of somebody's body? No, they were just there. Okay, first of all, I couldn't believe there were spine implants at all. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Do the, do the, the, the do the police need backup or? <laughs> They're looking for the police want help. I've got your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I literally got your back. <laughs> the first thing is that Philadelphia police are asking for the public's help to identify a suspect after an unusual car theft in city center last week. A total of 26 spine implants were stolen from a car parked in a garage on the 2300 block of Race Street. 
Race Street, City Center, Garage. There's a joke in there somewhere. I just can't think of it. The metal ink, the med, 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 medical implants are valued at more than 100 grand, according to authorities. And there he is wow. with a garbage bag full of spine implants. This just doesn't seem right. None of the you know, You're going to need a, a very specialist fence for that shit, aren't you? I, it seems targeted. Like a uh, doctor's it's, it's like, like, I, I can make use you of just that, man. Guess who has them. a spine implant? What? Like, you can't just walk around guessing if somebody has a spine implant or not. No, 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 no. I mean, a doctor's like, he, he gets one of his patients who he knows has had some time on the left side of the law. And he goes, okay, man, you know what you're doing? You know how to, like, prowl and break into a car. Well, I know where there's going to be some spine implants. You want to go get them? That kind of thing. Are yeah, we... this, this is an inside job. That's what I'm saying. Are we not sure that this isn't the predator here? that did this well uh no we are not sure no all you got to do is just you know, find the patient of yours that lacks a backbone and ask him to go get him for you yeah. <laughs> that's all right that was all right <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping in the story they were going to say what the hell a spine implant is, and they don't. Like, I don't know. I'm imagining, like, a big metallic, you know, set of vertebrae. Aren't you? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. I mean, it's a spine implant. It's... I, 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 <coughs> yeah, I, that's I, all spine. Even if it's a, a single vertebrae. I didn't know they did that. I thought that wasn't a thing. I, what, I, what, what is it? Something that goes up the center of it? Like the, the spinal cord replacement? I don't understand it at all. But I'm picturing yeah. something like from uh, Cyberpunk, you know? Yeah, there's, there's like, something there. Like an external metallic vertebrae going up the outside of your back. Yeah. And and now you can jump really high. Uh, Nazi, thank you for the dollar. Uh, this is Polly. Nazi. Blackout 8879. Sorry, <clears throat> missed that one from a few minutes ago. Shit, did that one even come up? I didn't hear that. Usually I hear the child screaming in pain. Huh, weird. Mm, but, I've learned to block it out. Hmm. <laughs> Don't ask what I'm smoking. It's a lot of weed. Have you ever seen a Civic doing 200? Ever watched a video of a Civic running a Lambo? Outrunning a Lambo? It's a Civic with a laptop. I'm arguing about its speed. I'm sorry. Still not clicking into place over here. Maiden, I'm skinning. I think we got it. <laughs> Mercy, you fiends. Oh, no. Oh, no. The horrible tale. The horrible tale. <laughs> the horrible tale. <laughs> See? I bet you your channel's still up, isn't it? Isn't it, Drunkle? I've not checked. It's, yeah, Turkey Man to my butt. It was the title of the stream. I think I've pretty much proven it conclusively at this point. You you also said some questionable shit on Monday. <laughs> you know, like if it does get taken down, we don't know what it will be. What? 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 Polly said questionable stuff. That's impossible. <laughs> Mm. Mm. The Nazi, thank you for the Are dollar. Carrying all that looks like a lot of back-breaking labor. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I like Bryce saying uh, it's too late to posture jokes about it. <laughs> and yeah. Alan, thank you for the ten dollars and the horrible tale. He simply says, "Polly, mm, Alan." I uh, was Alan for ten. Said Sin, Alan. And I'll just sit here quietly. Do you know what? This man isn't black. Never mind. What? Hey, it's Alan. No, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> oh, that meme is golden. It's never gonna die. I, just, <laughs> I can't believe you just stopped, man. It was your joke. What? It, it, go ahead. It's Alan for ten. <laughs> He says, Uncle. Alan. Stop right there. Thank you, Alan. I love that guy. <laughs> All right. He doesn't stop me right there. Never. 
He urges me to continue. I don't he says, know I'm that... really interested. Alan stops me in my tracks. That's just how cool he is. Oh. The agent accused of taking $250,000 of bribes from the Buffalo Mafia. Now. Oh, that sounds so cool. Buffalo Mafia. Uh-huh. <laughs> Buffalo Mafia. Which continues. A nice heist. <laughs> you know, a little bit of smooth criminality. Look, look at this guy. That suit's been tailored. Look at him. He's walking with panache. Yeah. I just, I just heard Buffalo Mafia. I went in completely the other direction with it. Where the hell did Bison get Buffalo, the money from? Just like, nice farm you got here. Be a shame if something happened to it. Well, that's just it. The way prosecutors tell it, Joseph Bon Giovanni. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Bon Giovanni. He did it. Well, well, just, he did it. <laughs> look at, yeah. I, this, this, you let this guy in on the dick. When this guy, you know, sashayed into the office, how did you not go like, dude, your suit costs more than my rent? Like, you know, it's... <laughs> look at him. Bon Giovanni. Yeah. Joseph. Behind the veneer of a veteran U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration agent, they alleged was a turncoat on the take from the Buffalo Mafia, offering an umbrella of protection that derailed investigations from his childhood friends, covered for a sex trafficking strip club, and even helped a connected high school English teacher keep his marijuana growing side hustle. What's going on there? Yeah. What's going on? In a federal trial that began this month, prosecutors portrayed Bon Giovanni as a greedy racist who pocketed more than $250,000 in cash stuffed envelopes over a decade and threw his colleagues off by opening bogus case files and encouraging them to spend less time investigating Italians and more times on blacks and Hispanics or Nervous and Spruk, as he alleged to have called oh, them. Boy. When authorities didn't, finally. They didn't need to include that bit, did they? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at all. It's just. I guess it was just trying to provide a bit of color to the article. Jesus Christ. Bless you. Our Lord and Savior, I what? Fucking, I just sneezed everywhere. God damn it. That caught me off guard. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The trial is the latest gut punch Sheesh. to the 4100 DEA agent Strong, which has last seen 16 agents brought up on federal charges since 2015, a parade of misconduct that has revealed gaping holes in the agency's supervision. The crimes have included child pornography, drug trafficking, and leaking intelligence to defense attorneys and selling firearms to cartel associates. An associated press analysis found, and I'm sure not much more than that, but let's give credit to the strong news entertainers out there doing their job. One carried a liberty or death flag and flashed his badge outside the Capitol on January 6th. Oh, my God. The worst crime of all. At least three veteran agents are serving prison sentences a decade or longer, including laundering money for cartels in Colombia and spent lavishly on expensive sports car, Tiffany Jewels, and an Arkansas-based agent recording taking a bribe inside a Las Vegas casino. I can't believe this. This can't be true. What? Oh, look at him. Well, he I mean, dresses so well. I wasn't talking about the, the, all of those things I said weren't that guy. I said, you know, it, it was it, it's a rife criminality throughout the DEA. Bon Giovanni. Department of Enhanced. Drug Enforcement Agency. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they make you take drugs? Yes. Is that how that Honda Civic was smoking? Yes. I think that's what it was. Was there any agency that wasn't a January 6th? Yeah, it makes you wonder if there was actually anybody there that was, you know, a real person. Uh. Okay, look, I don't get this at all. MTA installs barriers at Harlem subway station to protect conductors from being attacked. And here's what they came up with. Okay, I thought you said bears. That, that, I mean, that would work. But the physical bit. Oh, it would do bears. the opposite. Yeah. So they got these, 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 you know, six flexible posts here, and that stopped. Why, why are people attacking, attacking the conductors? Because it's New York? Because the train was late. Oh, they'll do it. People don't tolerate that shit. I don't know. Not so you thank you for the dollar. I don't think. You mean to tell me DE agents are crooked? Nah, bruh. Totally Trump's fault. Yeah, absolutely. Or at the very least, the yeah. racist that he emboldened by, you know, existing. 
I bet Taylor Swift had a hand in it as well. What you need here, Polly, is like, because I don't think the, um, the, the, what do you call it? Barriers or bollards? What are you calling them? Poles? The poles aren't going to do shit. But if you, if you just like put a couple of velvet ropes hanging betwixt them, that would do it. They actually call them four foot portable stanchions. Is that portable? So you could just pick them up. Yeah. You move them, then they're not barriers anymore. No, I think they're portable in the sense that you can, like, bolt them down by their flexi rubber bases here. Well, they've got, like, a plunger base. You just, you just stick them to the tile. To the concrete, yeah. <laughs> and up the I'm telling you, feces, dry blood, and fucking gum don't stop the suction from adhering. I think that would make it better. Mm. I'm telling you, a velvet rope hung between them, and that people would be like, oh, shit, no, I can't go there. I was going to punch a conductor, but I'm not. I'd lean over a velvet rope. rope and touch him. I wouldn't care. You can lean over a velvet rope. That's fine. Wow, I'm recording that for posterity. painting. I don't know. So, but look, here's what they recorded the first day that they did it. Riders just crossed <laughs> the rubber poles and just started standing there in the no standing zone asking questions. Because it's New York. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll go where I want. Fucking just... defiance. Yeah, yeah. Can you... <laughs> Uh, Polly, can you can you cut the output audio for one second? Yeah, of course I can. Let me quit. Here. Go, oh my god, Sid is so racist. And Shelly Shelly encourages it. Wow. <laughs> I just <laughs> It's an innate need. <laughs> Good fucking God. Now great. Now every time it's like, it's like oh, hold on guys, I'll be right back. They think I have to sneak off to go do something racist. That's what they're gonna assume now. Yeah, you know, it's like, no, I needed to use the bathroom. Fuck. I just <laughs> If you don't break the law, you ain't yeah, you know what, never mind. <laughs> The four oh, foot yeah, tall, I, the four yeah. foot tall, the four foot tall portable safety stranchions, str stranchions, are made of flexible rubberized material in the bright orange in color. They're added around the previously painted no standing zone on the 125th Street station, on which the, also didn't work. <laughs> yeah, on the 456 line, for anybody who wants to play CeeLo, that's where it's at, right by the 125th Street station. Uh, as part of a pilot program that aims to deter riders from standing too close to workers operating the trains and assaulting them. You at this you need a fence there at this point, don't because it? it's not working. You need a fence. I just or a wall. Yeah, to protect them from being attacked, right? And, it, and so here's a statement from the, the, the transit dude named Demetrius Cricklow. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> main that silver ball's main nice. guy on the street. <laughs> Come on, Demetrius. You've helped me out before. <laughs> Fill me in. What's going on? What's, what's with them barrier crossers? <laughs> I just... We hope that by adding additional visible elements to create a more well-defined zone of safety and security around our hardworking subway conductors will ensure that they do their work without fear of being attacked on the platform while they simply try to do their jobs. New Yorkers, man, fuck that. I, yeah, I don't think visibility is the issue here. I, I, clearly not. Like black and white stripes, signs that literally say no standing, assuming there's some kind of literacy there. And now flexible orange poles and motherfuckers are just like... <laughs> you need an actual like booth that lines up with the conductor's cabin right here. And even then, people are still get in the booth. Mm -hmm. I, the, uh, Fistonia, I, I so wish I could have heard it. Fucking YouTube. No, 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 no. We, we <laughs> that was us. That was deliberate. It was, I, I thought Sinatra was going to be like, dude, I'm really in pain with my ear, man. Can I, I, I'm going to drop out now. Okay, guys. Like, that's what I thought you were going to say. You know, and all of a sudden, no, no, no. Just, just dirty racism. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but I did get an earful. So it, it, it kind of relates. It's, <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It contained the phrase, these people. Moving on. Um, <laughs> a Canadian mass killer died from a cocaine overdose, a pathologist says. 
Okay. Mm. Now, I didn't think there was much of a story here, but then I read on. A man who killed 11 people and injured 17 others died from a cocaine overdose after he was taken into police custody. After? After. Now, he couldn't breathe. Well, I'll leave it alone. No, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miles Sanderson, 32, had been on the run for several days in the province of Saskatchewan. And the yeah, Saskatchewan, yeah, yeah. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Uh, when police caught up with him on September 7, 2022, he went into a medical distress during his arrest and were pronounced dead in the hospital. There was so much cocaine there, said a forensic pathologist, Dr. Sean Ladham, describing the amount of drug he found in Sanderson's body. So much cocaine. I, I love that that's like a medical amount. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police dashboard camera video played at the inquest shows Sanderson's arrest after a high-speed chase. So he just did all the blow? Like, I'm, I'm not letting them seize it, damn it! The, the horrible tale. <laughs> Lady Monteros, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, as a former valet attendant, I can assure you that the orange cones make people want to bypass the barriers even more. In more, more. Okay, he went into medical distress during his arrest, and he was pronounced dead in a hospital. Okay. So, no, here's the fun part. Well, not fun for the you know, people he killed, you know, of course, yeah. Three days before he was captured, Sanderson went from home to home on James Smith Cree Nation in a nearby village of Wenton, kicking in doors and attacking people. The stabbing rampage... Jesus. It gets more wild. The stabbing rampage raised rampage. questions of... Yeah, how many people go on... Like, rampage! <laughs> I thought you were going to go with the rampage mint, but, you know, hey. Um... The stabbing rampage raised questions why Sanderson, an ex-convict with 59 convictions and a long history of violence, was out on the streets in the first place. A damn fine question. Is that, bit, is, is that, it's not even serial killing, is it? There's no... Because no, normally it'd be like, oh, the serial killer's targeting, like, you know, uh, young, blonde women. Whereas this guy just, like, was... Just opportunistically fucking yeah. stabbing people. Well, that's not kill, even... That's not, there's no... 100 there's no kill method spree. there. No. Well, there's a method. I'm going to kill everyone. Well, hold on. There's a method. Just follow me here, okay? I, you know, bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, earlier Tuesday, juries heard us. Anderson asked Mounties, the Royal Mounted Canadian Police, during his arrest, how he was uh, how many he had killed. How many bodies did I get? He says in the dashboard video. <laughs> what Jesus. Sergeant Ken. wants his score. <laughs> Sergeant Ken Kane. Main Silverball's long-time associate on the force. Ken Kane, I need some information. Ken Kane, the drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, right. A detective with Sas 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 Saskatoon Police, just really Sassafras. Yeah, described it for the video for jurors, saying Sanderson expressed shock that nobody even shot me, man. You should have shot me. Sanderson said repeatedly in the video. I mean, he's not. They should have. I. Wow. But then you know, like nature took care of itself in the end, didn't it? Yeah, the cocaine eventually caught up with him. I mean, if you're high yeah. as fuck on blow because you're trying to, like, you know, you've caked up your entire nostrils trying to do everything that you had because you just weren't going to let the cops take it because, you know, you had been stabbing people for three days and seven hours. Oh, no, wait, that's how long he was evading capture. Uh, but, uh, nobody even shot at me, man. How many bodies did I get? Uh, this fucking craziness, man. And he killed 11 people and injured 17 others. Now, you know what we need here? Some gun control. Wait. Mm. 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 Well, it's just amazing that a knife can kill that many people, isn't it? Yeah. I just clearly all of North America has a white male problem. I gotta be. Well, didn't you know that we stole the land, so everything therein is an issue? If only like they had, uh, like you know, orange around their front doors. Then the guy wouldn't have been able to go in. Yeah, it's just too bad nobody had a, you know, no good guys with guns. Unfortunately, There's plenty, right? Plenty of guns in Please Canada. A guy with a gun. Right. Just a guy with a gun. A woman with a gun. Fuck a child with a gun. A dog with a gun. A, a goldfish. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Body of a missing man, fifty-five, found found buried in his own backyard. Was it his dog? 
Let's find out. In Cadillac, Michigan, the missing of a body, body, uh, the body of a missing 55 year old man was found buried in his backyard. Fuck, it's it's, it's, it's these guys. I mean, ooh, okay. Um, uh, Michigan police in Cadillac. What Michigan State Police Cadillac Post? Was, what the fuck? Michigan State Police Cadillac Post. I like the Honda Civic Post myself. With a laptop. What is Michigan State? Yeah, with that. <laughs> and it can smoke what it wants. What the fuck is Michigan State Police Cadillac Post? I have no idea. Like, that's why it fucked me up. In addition to, you know, just uh, things are a little bit, a little bit strange to me. Well, Cadillac is the place. Right. And like, wait a minute. Uh, There's another thing. In Michigan, okay. Cadillac, Michigan is the place in Michigan. But now it's saying yeah. Michigan State Police, which, you know, okay, for the entire state. Michigan State Police Cadillac Post. Yeah, comma, Cadillac comma. Post. Yeah, comma. But the name of the place isn't Cadillac Post. It would have to be Cadillac, comma, post, or the, yeah, it's, the, the it's, post on no, Cadillac? The, the, it's the post in Cadillac, Michigan. Yeah. That's but their that's what I so, town newspaper. Who wrote no, that? No, no, I, I would have thought it would be because... Oh, hang on, you know, maybe you're right. So there's a newspaper just for the Michigan State Police in Cadillac? No, it's a newspaper for Cadillac, Michigan. But then, well, you got Michigan State Police Cadillac okay, Post. Okay, That's wait, wait, wait. In the Cadillac Post, so like the the, the, the Cadillac Intelligencer, the Cadillac... Uh, 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 Gazette. Gazette, yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's Michigan State Police stated to the oh. Cadillac Post, or in the Cadillac Post, said they received a report Tuesday. Why would they just say Michigan State Police said Tuesday in the Cadillac Post that? Because who needs editors? <laughs> oh, God, we need them more than ever. Justine Lofton, you have we need dropped you more than ever. the ball. And chat, you know, who wrote this trifle? Justine Lofton, who's putting her women's studies degree to work, man. <laughs> Troopers searched the property and found an area behind the house where the ground had recently been disturbed. On Wednesday, detectives obtained a search warrant to excavate the area. They found large chunks of burnt wood, tires, remnants of burnt clothing, and a piece of what appeared to be human flesh. Further mm. search warrants were obtained. The MSP it was either grade... human flesh what? or a ribeye. <laughs> the MSP Grayling Crime Lab. The Michigan State Police Grayling Crime Lab. Well, they got some names. They called in the MSP Computer Crimes Unit, collected digital evidence at the scene, including a Honda Civic with a laptop. <laughs> the victim's phone and a home security camera. I, if I feel like we're really leaning into Blackout 8879 unfairly, and the guy's just like, fuck you guys, man. It made sense. You just idiots. I, just... <laughs> I paid for that. Yeah, yeah I, I paid to... <laughs> Three people that weren't damn fools would understand what I meant. And, uh, okay. oh, holy shit! You you left a toddler alone in a pay pen for play pen for ten days? Yeah, they got toys, but no food or water. How many people have asked me if that's a pig? Does that tail look curly to you? Dumb people Maybe. saying dumb things because they're dumb. Maybe they straighten out when the pig dies. Uh, they have like the opposite of rigor mortis. They just go really limp and clean the curly tail. Oh, really stiff. Well, that would not be the opposite of rigor mortis. That would be rigor mortis. Well, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's just rigor mortis, but you know, the tail goes stiff. So stiff that it straightens right out. It's like, bing. Yeah. Okay. Bing. Yeah, it's but it makes snarky. that noise. <clears throat> Thank you for the $10. It's amazing how quickly an article turns into a Laurel and Hardy routine. Yeah, well, especially when we're the ones reading it. <laughs> or at least I'm attempting to. <clears throat> All right. Georgia official. Whoa, that's not really even close to being on screen. Sorry about that. There we go. Georgia officials went on a raid in a fish farm. Instead, they found $2.3 million worth of marijuana. Uh, $22.3 million worth of marijuana. What did I say? 
2.3. Yeah, that's some creeping decimalism. That doesn't that doesn't work. You pulled, a, yeah. you pulled a Hunter Biden. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Too bad I didn't have an aging prostitute in the room and a president for her father. Uh, Blackout 8879. Oh, no, he doesn't. Damn. No, no, he doesn't. What? Uh, breaking news. Yeah, I was waiting for the dolphin, too. Richard Lewis died. Really? The comedian? Oh. No. Yeah. That's actually pretty tragic. That's some shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, he managed he was, to get uh, one Kerber last season of Kerb. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. 76. Damn. Well, he managed to do the final season of Kerb. That's, that's something. Oh, that's sad. I knew he had health problems there. He was looking a bit gnarly towards the end. Oh, RIP in peace. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was just thinking about that. His stand-up's really funny. When they're older, I don't think he's been working for a while, but it doesn't matter. His legend goes on. Yeah, RIP, man. Just, just him and Larry David just talking is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, once again, man, like the the editors of Wikipedia have me in awe. You know, uh, here we go. About Richard Philip Lewis was an American stand-up comedian. They're right in there with that shit, aren't they? Right. Find to replace is to was go. Uh, Blackout eighty eight seventy nine. Thank you for the dollar. Both that yes, and I'm having a laugh, so it's okay. The civic smoking. A bowl with me. This is not helping, oh. man. The, is they making it worse? Here, I, is is your friend's name laptop? Like I'm confused. <laughs> both that yes, but I'm having a laugh, so it's okay. The Civic smoking a bowl with me. The Honda Civic is smoking a bowl with you. So what's the laptop doing? Or laptop, Johnny laptop. Yeah. No one capitalized. We call him that because he folds under pressure. <laughs> the Georgia officials went on a raid at a fish farm and said they found two, $22.3 million worth of marijuana. Um, now, here's the thing. The Georgia Department of Agriculture and Sheriff's Office in South Georgia teamed up to make one of the largest drug busts in state history, even though they were just looking for illicit fish. Yeah, right? <laughs> The agriculture's department got involved because the officials first thought it was a food max man. But what? Uh. <laughs> and they suspected they would find the origin of the nightmare squid cat. No luck there. It's still on the loose. Uh, well, uh, last Royal Raven. Thank you for the five dollars. Greatly appreciated. In other news, an X link. Hmm. I only stopped with the porn. I don't know if I can hit that. Give me a second. I don't have my screen up here, and I'll go. I'll go take a look. That in other news, things are going on. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy they, they thought it was a food manufacturing plant. They went and found something very different, uncovering what may be one of the largest indoor pot growing operations in the southeast. You're gonna sell that shit. You better have a license. And we're the only ones that give them woo. From seedling to full grown, ready to harvest, 11,153 plants were found inside the marijuana growing facility in rural Georgia. Oh, damn. It was a very sophisticated operation, the Commission of Agriculture said. We estimated the street value were $22.3 million. The Department of the Pierce County Sheriff's Office launched an investigation about a month ago. An undercover deputy learned the facility was a fish farm. But when they raided the place on Friday, they quickly found it was only a cover. Wow, your undercover deputy was balls incompetent you actually thought it was a fish farm was this the most incredibly uh, covered up sophisticatedly layered grow up in history Eleven thousand fucking plants even a deputy agent went there and all he saw was cod they uh, i mean they say eleven thousand plants but saying 22.3 million they're suggesting that each plant is worth two thousand twenty seven dollars so i mean they pull these numbers right out of their ass, man, like we were talking about on Monday. He says, what's the point? Well, you see, if each one of those plants had been brought to harvest and then cuttings were taken off of each one of those plants and then they were recloned and you know, planted again through seven generations, you would have it. You'd have uh, 37 more, <laughs> actually. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, the officials arrested were three men and one woman, all Chinese nationals. Fuck. What does, what does wow. Chinese national mean? That, My the, shock. They're is a citizen of. It's a way of saying they're they're not a citizen of the United States. They don't do not have uh, a green card, permanent residency status. They're not there on a visa. They are just a foreign citizen of another country that's currently in this country so, you, see. so okay. you would say a british national that's what it refers to you're not there for any legitimate reason you're like just if, there. if i went to visit sin to give him some antibiotics for his ear you would be a british national yes i'd be a british national. drug okay, trafficking cool. across country lines well okay yeah, i suppose it, but yeah all right fair enough but then i'd be it's just like a little fucking bottle of antibiotics but then you know the police are like it was 11 million dollars worth of drugs What's the street value of those antibiotics? Well, that's what, that's through our insurance company. A Z pack would probably be like a hundred thousand dollars worth of narcotics. Uh, right. Fair shout, fair shout. Yeah, looking at the Koreans, like only a quarter pound per plant. Weak. Yeah, well, maybe they're going with a sea of green thing. Um, honest question, Fistonia says, how long would twenty two point five million dollars a pot last in your average pothead? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, the thing is, that there comes a point where you just get so fucking wankered that you can't pack a bowl anymore. <laughs> yeah, that at that point, you should probably just pack it in for the night. You're done. Mm. I don't know. Bowls? Eh, two blunts. Blunts. I was more of a joint guy, but yeah. I, yeah, I'm a, I was a joint guy myself, yeah. But the, the, you know, there comes a point where you just go, I cannot be fucking bothered to roll another one right now. Yeah, but I mean, okay... But you're in Britain, where Rizzlers are the I average, right? It. Which is, you know, we're not talking like a third size zigzags. You're talking like full size quality Rizzlers, right? High quality Rizzler, yes. Well, uh, uh, there's the thing. Like that's that's a yeah. that's a swisher sweet size joint. So that's a little different than like a little fucking matchstick penner. Yeah. Not that I've ever smoked weed. I wouldn't know. Well. I, well, you should do. I mean, at that point, just like stick it all on a hot plate and just just haze up. <laughs> It seems a little wasteful, but yeah. All right. Well, Disney World has raised ticket pr ticket prices for 2025. Now, look, I got curious about this because I want to know how much is it to get into fucking Disneyland anyway? The prices have gone up from 109 2024. It would be 119 dollars just to get in. 119 dollars. Yeah. That's like half the price of some fries in Disneyland. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you got to pay to get into pay the privilege of having to pay exorbitant prices just for for for, for money pay prices for money pay a lot and i'm broke such few money prices for money yeah so I, the lesser known dire straits song but no tax you're going in there family of four 476 dollars what the fuck what the fuck it was dire straits. I, 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 I've never been to Disneyland. I have no fucking desire nor inclination to go to Disneyland. Uh, if I had children, they also... I mean, I think this is why my parents didn't let me watch Disney films when I was little. They didn't want me getting ideas above my station. Hmm. I can't say I'm like, you mean like taxes? taxes? <laughs> like, I just, yeah. Disney World, Disneyland, either one. That's just fucking mind blowing to me. I mean, does Knott's Berry Farm still exist? Go to Six Flags, man. There's rides there. I've been to Disneyland. It sucks, man. It was, but maybe because it's not. A, I'm not. A, I wasn't a Disney kid and going there. I didn't care. But it was just it, the lines. Oh my god. Uh. They they got the posts like you know they got like the little like the not velvet ropes but the ropes to keep all the lines together. And it would say, yeah. the, you know, wait as of this point, as of this point. It was like 45 minutes, an hour and a half or whatever. And I was like, oh, my God, this fuck this whole place. This you're... is how you spend in your day. Yeah. You know? uh, go the go to Old Towers. Go to Chessington World of Adventures. Now, the beautiful thing about those places, you pay at the gate and then and then, you, you, you know, I mean, all the all the all, every, all the rides and everything are free and you could just bring a packed lunch. A lot of them don't let you bring in outside food or drink anymore, and then you have to pay or get tickets for the individual rides. Fuck that, man. 
I, I, I can't. And somebody in chat said, I'd, I'd rather pay for an arcade of petting zoo. That sounds like so much better of a day. Yeah. No, oh, it really does. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like a Animal Kingdom. It could be a bunch of plastic animatronic animals. Go to the petting zoo. Go to, go to zoo. Yeah, yeah. What the I fuck? They're, they're going to have like you know, all these different animals and whatnot. And you get to go into the lizard habitat and uh, uh, pet the goat or whatever. I, I don't want to pet goat. Well, whatever. Pet what you want. The sheep are hilarious. You, you can't. You're not allowed to. What? Why, the, why are the sheep hilarious? Because they go, bad. I'm like, oh my god, he said the thing. It's <laughs> like, That's like his catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> when you actually hear them go, bad, it's like, <laughs> and lambs are, there's, they, they, you know, they got lambs around a bunch of the times, and lambs are hilarious. They like, they, they, they don't really run, they just bounce. Ding, 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 ding. Little springy things. They're, they're funny. I mean, this is why goats are hilarious, though, because they just like being high up on things. Yeah, I'm watching they just them like being taller. They do. I'm watching them jump and lollop about is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, why would you want to go there? Because their antics are fucking awesome. And it, and it's, it's, you're not going to have, like, gay furries in costumes come up telling your kids, it's okay if you want to be a girl, little boy. Like, you know, you don't want that. No. It is you don't Disney. want to pay for that privilege. <laughs> McDonald's patron punches worker for touching soft drink. Lid. Lid. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, like, did they stick their finger in the drink? Because then that's understandable. No, you touch the lid. No. This is over the top. <laughs> Double meaning. Oh, right. The incident took place at 7 p.m. in the South Station of Boston. A 34-year-old man struck a McDonald's employee with his fist. After becoming upset, the employee touched the lid of his drink, according to the statement on X by Transit Police. By Transit Police. Cell Station TPD officials arrested a 34-year-old male after he attacked a McDonald's employee, striking him several times with his fists and register. Wait, he struck him with the register or he with struck the, the register? register? That's what it is. It's striking him several times with fists and register. He picked up the register? Like, the guy, is he dead? He smacked him over the head with a register. Police have not That's yet released GTA the name shit. of the man. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is very GTA. He's expected to be arraigned on the 26th. McDonald's requires employees to wear gloves and wash their hands at least every hour if they're worried, blah, 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 blah. If they handle food, yada, yada, yada. Um, those restaurants experienced many violent incidents around 31 over mm. six months of that same year. Fights included customers attacking workers and some some customers assaulting and threatening employees with firearms well i just have not experienced this i like yeah okay i've been to some damn seedy mcdonald's and recently okay where you go in there and it's like you think some motherfuckers might be like you know sizing you up and picking you out and gonna follow you outside like that kind of thing but no nobody ever tommy sotomayor video style leaping across the fucking counter to attack people why would you attack a fast food worker They're i don't like get it they're already like, having a shit life. Mm. Why would you make their day worse? I just... Don't mess with the people who make your food. And I'm using the word food here loosely as well. Yeah, that's that's a loose definition right there. But I get you. Just stop being assholes to people in general, especially the people who really don't have it coming. Like you know, the fry guy at McDonald's. For fuck's sake. I... It's just, it, it just touched you... his lid. It's not like he like licked his finger and then pushed it through the hole in the plastic, you know? <laughs> you ever do that? You can't get it. No, you you can't gonna... get it back. It's it, it's like it's barred. I, it's like that saw trap. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> lady with the that's... needles. Oh, that was rough. Yeah. I think that is to catch any, like, you know, soft drinks predators. It's the rape lid. <laughs> A Chinese drink trap. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Dude, you know what? Looking at this, you know, 
And yesterday, I really should have gotten the, uh, the, the knockoff PlayStation controller as opposed to the um, Xbox controller I got, I think. I think, I'd, I think I would I have like liked its layout more. I much better. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't say, but it looks like I would have liked it more. I mean, like, it's got, like, the classic D-pad. And, yeah, there's a D-pad but uh, on, on the PlayStation, but I don't, I don't like its placement as much. I don't think. I don't know. I, do you, I prefer do you, the Xbox placement. Do you guys both have both? No. no I, I, I'm much... Well... I had a PlayStation for a while, so that was the console I played on. Uh -huh. But I've used a PlayStation controller for computer for as long as I can remember. And I with Xbox. Okay. I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's really just a preference thing. That's what I mean. I mean, far recommended the Xbox, like a particular Xbox controller, for me to get, and it wasn't a bad suggestion. Like it, it works. The, the thing I say is like the amount of buttons that i don't use that are under the side and off to the side of the uh, the, the main controller it's just the games i play just, i just don't need them and so i'm constantly i feel like i'm constantly clicking buttons that aren't there as far as like yeah yeah i know it's just ignore them it's not like you're actually doing anything in the game and i'm like i know but it's just you know. it's the fact of the matter difference is this I, I could easily play fucking you know i, I played the xbox for well fucking most of my gaming career uh, but I mean, if I suddenly were to, you know, if I were to play a game at someone else's house on a fucking PlayStation, it'd probably take me like I'd have like a minute of where it goes press X, and I'd be like, oh, 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 oh the other one. <laughs> take long to adapt to it. I'm not a fucking retard. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I was just, you know, most of them, you know, back into my Castlevania, and uh, yeah, you, just, you don't really need much beyond the D pad, the, the A B, if you yeah, know what I yeah, mean. Yeah. You know, the square X. Um, PlayStation cancels multiple games have been massive job cuts. Sony announces a reduction of workforce across its first party studios, including the closure of a London studio. Um, this morning, Sony revealed that it's adding to the first ever growing pile of industry lifts. Like, the, this surprised me because it's like, has Sony ever had to downgrade? It's like, is this a, yeah, what's like, going on? How are they not? Ma I'll tell you, it was Madam Web, wasn't it? It, they lost so much fucking money on that. Yeah. Uh, but, like, all of their movies lately have been shit. The only thing Sony really has going for them is their DSLR and the PlayStation. They got Spider-Man. And their DSLR is retardedly expensive. Atari 2600 for the win. I... I'm not going to deny it. There is an extreme charm to that controller. You know, it's like the box with the joystick and the one red button in the top left corner. Yeah. There's, there's a serious <laughs> charm to the look of that thing, man. I got to say. <laughs> it's just, it, yeah. <clears throat> we had to take a step back, look at our business holistically, and move forward focusing on the long-term sustainability of the company and delivering the best experiences possible for our community. That sounds like it went through five different focus groups and got Franken sentenced together. Oh, it did. Yeah. It, it started off. This is like the Chinese whispers of quotes. It started off as, we shouldn't have made Madam Web. And it came out as this. Like, imagine if you worked for Sony. You'd worked for Sony for like fucking 25 years and you got laid off because they made a shit film. You'd be livid. Oh, God, and he did it again. The goal is to streamline our resources to ensure our continued success and ability to deliver experienced gamers and creators what they have come to expect from us. Okay, oh. I mean, just put on the bullshit filter right here. We're firing a shit ton of people. Okay, right, yeah. And yeah. they did. I think it was 8% of their entire staff, holistically, 6,000 layoffs. Oh, damn. Like that... That blew my mind. I was like, maybe somebody over in, because uh, uh, my gaming knowledge is not that extensive. I thought maybe someone's going to have an idea. The, the effect around 900 people or 8% of the current workforce just in the Sony Interactive Entertainment section. And then they have other associated businesses for a grand total of, what was they say, 9,000 people? Like, fuck. 
what you know, like the president, the CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment estimates the layoffs would be uh, affect around nine hundred people. Okay, it says six thousand at the bo- at the bottom, but whatever. Why don't you just take a fucking pay cut, mate? <laughs> at least a small one. It would be a small one because like what he's fucking getting paid con- you know, compared to the people that are getting laid off. You probably wouldn't even notice. You're not spending that money anyway, are you, bruh? Yeah. And that way you can keep churning out, you know, decent fucking games instead of fucking having to invest in bullshit, which is going to keep losing you money in the long run. This is just the first of many I think we're seeing from Sony. Have they blamed uh, Madam Web's failure on men yet? It wasn't for you, but you didn't show up. Yeah. I do fucking straight white male. Damn it. This is me. Ooh. I mean, I've not even... The trailer looks shit. I watched the trailer because I have no fucking inclination of seeing this film at all. Fucking spider lady. Even in the cartoons, Madam Web was bullshit. Oh, yeah. I watched uh, YMS's review on it, and that's about it. it. I mean, as a character in the comics... She was interesting, but a serious background minor character. If you know, not minor, so to speak, but like just someone who just populated secondary. the world. Yeah, yeah, secondary. Somebody just populated the world to go to every now and then because she's somebody who lived there, part of the scenery, if you will. And that's fine. That's what comic books are all about. It makes it seem like a big, wide, lived in world. You know what I mean? But you made a whole movie about this person. How'd you rejuvenate their character? Or, you know, embiggenate their character, make them more. It's, uh, you did a bad job because it doesn't have any relation to the actual source material. I don't understand why it's you want to leave the source material so badly. It's like, well, we, we, we don't want to be a slave to the material. You mean all the good original ideas? Why are you... I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. <clears throat> they already had such a good thing going with uh, uh, your, your Spider-Verse, your, your Miles Morales movie. First and second. They had a great thing going on with the Spider-Verse. Why fucking try and inject Madam Web into it and yet not connect it at all? I mean, her second name is Web. Yeah. That supposes that things are connected, right? Like some kind of web. One would think. (sighs) You you fucked it, Sony, and now people's livelihoods are at stake. Yeah, I mean, so you got like, in case you know the particular studios, <clears throat> Insomniac Games, Gorilla, Naughty Dog, Fire Sprite, are, and more are all being hit. But, you know, PlayStation's London studio, gone. So can you imagine working at the you know, PlayStation's London studio. You're like, have you heard about the layoffs? Yeah, how many of them, how many of us do you think they're going to get? Well, all of us were gone, man. That's it. All of us? All of us? Right, just, this is all gonna, of us. Yeah, this is going to be a, 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 a hostile location for foreign hostels <laughs> what sucks is what insomniac are shit hot man <clears throat> having produced what? you should be pouring more money into insomniac games mm. drunkle but yep i said producing like what like what, what's insomniac known for what games uh, uh, fuck it. Well, that, I mean, they did the, the Spider Man games. I believe was it t- fucking <laughs> t- Tony Hawk Pro Skaters? That was Insomniac as well. I think so, yeah. Is it the, you know, the fucking, the, the, the eyeball on the fucking. You, you know, Insomniac games. Hmm. No? <laughs> Thomas has spectacular spot. I, I should be into hmm. this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was hoping you were going to tell me. I, I don't know a lot of uh, game studios so to speak associate i mean rockstar i know but that these were taking like extreme triple a stuff insomniac just doesn't come to mind of course the spider-man games just didn't realize they were the ones who produced it yeah they they, they handled a, a lot of the marvel games uh wolverine i believe from a, a while that was a fucking great game i've not played spider-man 2 uh, but the the first uh, spider-man and indeed miles morales are pretty fucking good i mean they're, they're up there with rockstar when it comes to quality you know they they genuinely care. And that's where they cut the client or clientele. That's where they cut personnel. Fucking hell. Oh, Freedom Frog says Spyro. I mean, fucking hell. Ratchet and Clank. I just looked it up. Ratchet and Clank. Um, yeah. Sam said that in chat as well. Fuck. The Wolverine games. Those were fun. Yes, they were. 
I love that Thomas oh, S. Sunset saying this. Overdrive. That was a great game. Spectacular Spider-Man will always be the best Spider-Man. Peter Parker's the Spectacular Spider-Man. That's amazing. That's a really inside. Oh, man, yeah, that was Spectacular, Spectacular Spider-Man. Ah, uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the show. comic book series. You're talking about the animated series. Fuck, never mind. Oh, the animated series is brilliant. No, it, it was. I liked it. Um, but I don't know. But we were talking about comics for. They seven. did a Starship Troopers game, I think. <clears throat> the uh, extermination. Uh, maybe. Mm, me and Bryce have been rocking that. Oh, they did Resistance. The Fall of Man, Spyro. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. Spider-Man. Overdrive was great because, uh, as you, you know, you'd have a, like a combo going for just sliding around and you know, like flawlessly moving around. But as your combo went up, like the music got a little more complex. Like it would start off with a little bass line, and then the you know, as you got up to like a combo of twenty, the drums would kick in. Oh man, it really rewarded you for getting high numbers on that game. Oh, Crazy this is game, a though. new Wolverine too, just for the PlayStation Five. God damn it! Ooh. No, I have. Vistonia just downloaded the Batman Arkham series from Steam this week. It's great. No, I have double also, the reason to save up for a PlayStation Five. God. And I agree with Mr. Blue. The 90s Spider-Man cartoon series, okay, was the best, the best of the new stuff. But I've got, like, I love the classics. So original 60s Spider-Man is still my favorite. It set so many trends. And it's, it's so memeable. Now, 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 now. <clears throat> That's the one. Yeah, okay, yeah, the, yeah. The guitar yeah. sound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly the one. Numerous changes go into effect today for Pittsburgh police, including reducing overnight staffing. Now, the one that I found funny, though, is Fuck that cool. Fuck pool? What? No cops at night. That's great. Yeah. So as a result, officers will get an extra 52 days off per year because they're having retention problems and recruiting problems, both. So That's this a way to spin it, isn't it? Like, you're not getting paid, but look, it is getting extra days off. I'm assuming those are paid days off. Officers will only respond to a maximum of 50,000 calls per year going forward. Instead of the usual 200,000 they respond to, ending a sentence Locked with a preposition, another 150,000 calls will go to an online reporting unit and telephone reporting unit. Hmm. So I don't know if you remember that Simpsons episode where Bart like is doing the, the rear window thing from the Hitchcock movie where he's got his leg broken, he's sitting in the back room and he thinks oh, yeah. that Flanders has killed his wife. And he gets on the phone and it's like, press one if you know the name of the crime being committed. And he presses one and it's like, press two if you know the name of the criminal who's doing the committing. And he goes, do, 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 just hits like a whole bunch of buttons out of frustration. Like, You've selected regicide. Press one if you know the name of the king or queen being killed. <laughs> Dude, I, this shit just boggles my mind. Like we have a crime epidemic in this country happening right now especially in major cities crime yes and instead of violent crime and murders no they're still on the decline but re re like yeah d d a is not you know going oh, well if you stole hundred thousand dollars that's not a crime at all that kind of shit epidemic is you're you're damn right you're damn right but just instead of using all the tax money that people are paying to house illegal immigrants and doing all that shit literally nobody wants they're just like, yeah, actually, we're going to cut the police. Because they can't get any officers to work. Would you want to work under those conditions? I wouldn't want to be a cop, but that's neither here nor there. Assuming that you were, would you want to work? <laughs> Not in Philadelphia. I can't help. <laughs> yeah. Data said from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. that we had 8% of our call volume, yet we had 30% of our personnel working during that time. So it didn't make sense for us to continue that level of allocation. I'm confident the decisions that we make that it impacts this bureau and the city in a much better way than we have in the past. Whew. All right. The bureau is adding a new violent crime division focusing on reducing violent crime and gun violence. Oh my God, you profilers. Hmm. Or would be if they want to actually. California hoped to recoup millions in bong auction. It made $2,075. Wow. <laughs> good, good work. Good work, California. That's the, the, 
It's all thanks to the state of California. Stoners throughout Los Angeles had the unique opportunity to upgrade their rigs at a discount after 10 unnamed cannabis businesses collectively owed California more than $14 million on unpaid taxes. The state seized their fixtures and sold them at a public auction on the 16th of February. And they miserably failed to recoup its losses after hawking glass bongs, snow cone machines, and assorted office supplies in the California Highway Patrol's parking lot in Los Angeles that day. They made a meager $2,075. Snow cone machines. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, well, if you were high as hell, what would you want? Snow cones. <laughs> oh, my God. Crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. Nine out of ten of these businesses operate illegally, and it's not the first time the agency has pawned off seized property from clandestine cannabis operations in Southern California. Oh my God! They hope to recoup two hundred grand, and they got yeah, two grand. <laughs> Amazing. I know. I know. I, I love this statement here. It's like unlicensed cannabis operators not only undercut legitimate businesses, they also cheat California communities out of the revenue for vital programs for illegal immigrants that shouldn't be here in the first place. But you know, hey. So quick, move out of California and go vote for those changes somewhere else, and you know, it'll be, you know everything will be fine. Fuck, have you ever seen someone's receipt that they published online from buying bud in California? There's a municipal excise tax, there's a county excise tax, and then a state excise tax, and then a sales tax, and no snow cone. Yeah, it's like you're you're buying like fifty dollars worth of bud. And, and then by the time you're done, it'll be like ninety dollars. It's like, wait, you almost doubled the price just through taxes? Yeah, and that's what they're saying. It's like you're robbing California communities for vital programs. I, what vital programs? You lying bastards! And can I, mean, I talk about how Gavin Newsom is like, anyway. like like the most evil politician that I can think of? Like, just it. The guy just embodies everything that's wrong with self-serving politics that people will still vote for endlessly. I mean. Jericho <sighs> Gospel, did you notice how the Biden's administration is up to what Biden's administration is up to now? Uh, going down to the border? Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. If that's what you're referring to. You know they're you know, they're on their way, both Trump and Biden to the border, Sin. Hmm. So we're gonna get this issue addressed real quick, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll get right with that. Mm-hmm. New York officials, turkeys are now status quo and need to be accepted by Staten Islanders. Now, okay. What? Yes. Turkeys. Turkeys. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're calling them now? <laughs> State and city officials are seemingly throwing the towel managing Staten Island's troublesome turkey population. Now telling borough residents that they must learn to live alongside the neighborhood nuisances. Look at all the turkeys. Okay, I'm that guy. Uh, if only though. you had I, a superhero. I, <laughs> I, I, I. Why are they following that woman? Turkeys are bold. They're they're they're, they're like geese. She's gonna get mugged. Careful. Um, Those are some jive turkeys. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like we understand. I would be that guy out there, like not even high, just going like gobble 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 to hear them all go gobble 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 gobble. gobble, gobble. <laughs> like you know, I just. <laughs> Turkeys can be dangerous. You're not wrong. Um, uh, turkeys are part and parcel of life in the big city. Terrorism, turkeys, all the T's. Now, um, the turkeys first documented on Staten Island in the late 1990s were once contained on the Burroughs East Shore. They often congregating around Seaview Avenue around what is now Staten Island University Hospital Ocean Breeze. Staten Island University Hospital Ocean Breeze. <sighs> In recent years, the population has exploded with the pesky pests spreading their wings across all of the borough. We're hilarious. Nesting on residents' lawns, blocking traffic, scratching cars, defecating on private property, in some cases dying on the sidewalks and being left to rot. Oof. It was so hot you could baste a turkey out there, and I did. Now, here's the thing. This is where the article just delves into insanity. And Sin's going to know what I'm talking about here, as well as a bunch of people in chat. If there's any Texans uh, out in chat, I think you're really going to feel the pain of this one. Councilman David Carr, who spearheaded recent efforts to address the growing turkey population, recently told the Staten Island advance, blah, 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 blah. They've reached a stalemate with the city and state agencies who previously tried to help relocate the birds. 
Everything that follows is an attempt to relocate the birds. We're going to go around, we're going to get as many of them as we can, and we're going to put them into camps. Like, cordoned off hmm. turkey ghettos. Oh, oh, Interesting. No. <laughs> I don't know if I like where this is going. No. <laughs> I'm looking into continuing those conservations and come together with a plan by mutual agreement in the very near future. But at this point, there hasn't been an agreement on how to proceed. However, both agencies now appear focused on getting Staten Islanders just to embrace the birds as neighbors, as opposed to relocating or managing the growing population. Managing the growing population? They spayed and neutered them? They spayed and neutered them. But it wasn't effective because the ones that they didn't get that weren't spayed and neutered? Managed to fill up the rest of the population hole. You guys have never done population studies, have you? Like, or even had basic exposure to one. You thin the herd, the herd will grow. You thin the herd, you you, you end up decimating it. Like, literally, yeah, it's going to be a, okay. You have no idea how any of this works. And you're the professionals that are, like, highly paid jobs. You know, 80 grand a year as the county commissioner for agricultural and animal life or whatever the fuck. And it, you can't explain this thing. It, wildlife and people. And how to coexist to minimize conflicts did it ever occur to you to start killing them no it never did they never mention it not once in this whole article for months I... right does it take like getting close to thanksgiving for someone to think of this shit also it's 2502 for my turkey donation <laughs> I, I just i just don't get it Preventing them from nesting on private property, observing from a distance, and leashing your pets. And don't run them over. That's a crime. Deliberately running over one of these turkeys on Staten Island. Guys, guys, guys. This is an example. How liberal politicians in a place where everyone's all touchy-feely. Like, seriously, Texans. It's like, no, you don't shoot when somebody's in the background or whatever. But get out to the parks where they're at and start blasting on them. For fuck's sake. Like, you could... It's called birdshot for a reason. And yeah, okay, I get it. You got to shoot hard to get through their fucking feathers. But like, it didn't even occur to them to actually just start killing them. It never occurred to them to go where their nests are and eradicate their eggs. They all go to certain nesting grounds. It didn't, it, well, that would be mean. Oh well, yeah, well, why don't you sit down, see if you can form a treaty with them. Cordon off a certain area of land and this will be their reserve. Like, what the fuck? So what? Offer what them turkey casinos. I, what you're saying is they need John Wick or John Wish to deal with this issue. Yes. Yeah. See, that was a shittier show than Drunkles, and I thought that was good. The last relocation attempt was in 2019. It was put on hold, though, because the state was worried the animal sanctuary couldn't keep the turkeys on its property. It was said they would need to install an enclosure or annually clip the turkeys' wings so they would not fly. They, If you read the story, okay, the guys are like, don't they, fly they, over there and fuck. Don't even think about it. <laughs> it's for store, yeah, for the 2502. <laughs> because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Says, Say no more, Drunkle. Here you go. Fuck yes, for store, yeah. Perfect. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Let me run through a few of these. Gamer Blaine, thank you for the $6. Hey, New York, it was uh, spelled gobbles, not gobbles. These are annoying <laughs> birds. <laughs> Not evil Nazis. Rounding them up doesn't matter. That's before that shadow claw. Thank you for the block. There was a turkey hanging out around my school once. It was not fearful. I even did a call and it chased me. Well, <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. And it's, 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 it's after you. Me. I will not be mocked. <laughs> no, you will. And Steve Dave gets asked. Thank you for the dollar. With how much energy I have to use telling fuckwits to smash the like button, how I calm down so I don't have a heart attack? Weed. It's the weed. Definitely the weed. So smash the like button. Are you smoking up with a Honda Civic as well? He's... Yes. Let me, let me ask you something here, Polly. When it comes to the, you know, all right, we've got to go out. We've got to catch these turkeys. We've got to clip their wings to stop them from flying off the turkey reservation. At one point, when you're holding a turkey, can you like look up to your supervisor and go like, "Should I just, should I just break his neck?" Yeah, I know. It's, it's, or, or how about, you know, you look at your supervisor and you're like, "You know, I was down at the supermarket the other day. This stuff is really expensive per pound. Can I just like 
cracking its neck and then goes, can I just take this home now? Yeah, it's broken. We don't want this one. And people say gamey oh. meat is really gamey. There's a lot of ways. Okay, first of all, I happen to like the gaminess of uh, wild meat. Um, I, I don't like wild turkey. The uh, You love the wild meat. turkey. Yeah, oh, what are you talking meat, about? Not I'm the sick drink. you hating on it. <laughs> I don't like regular turkey. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't get an opinion here. You don't even like turkey, weirdo. It, it, look, if it's free, of which, I mean... I do like free. Well, fuck it, you get a load of these turkeys, you you know, you, you de-turkeyfy them, and then you cook them up, give it to a fucking homeless shelter, right? Brilliant. But, uh, but this rate, these turkeys have got more rights than actual people who are living on the street here. But the thing is... Okay, let's see if I can work this out, because I, I, I have multiple moving parts in my head. The thing is, you should think about it this way. I, yeah, no, right. there, it, I am <laughs> because, <laughs> good lord, this is going to be a. I just pictured actual a, cogs and shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> it is because this is going to be a lame shill, a good part to the story, and a shill for Friday's show. If we can hire Jill. a John, a John Wish at forty four ninety nine to go and clear out these turkeys, we'll have enough to feed a fuck ton of homeless people and get two evolutions by Friday. Damn. All right. That wasn't too bad. I feel good about that one. It was awful. See, partain to the... Like, but seriously, though, you could call the turkeys by half. Well, wow. And you would have a ton of food for homeless people, but they're like, meh. I should even just, like, go around stepping on eggs. <laughs> Stompy feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> River dance through a nest. It's not a short-term solution, but it, it will pay off in the end. I mean, it. it is kind of a short-term solution. Well, no, because, I mean, there's still the same amount of turkeys that are, but you're not killing any turkeys, but you're, you're stepping on their eggs. So, that, that you know, the, the herd isn't... Is it a herd? Flock isn't going to get replaced as the older turkeys die off. A gobble gobble abortion. <laughs> I'm all in favor of eating them. This is food. Mm -hmm. Walking around. Mm -hmm. In this economy? Uh, it, I, it, it. Right? As you said, yeah, going to this. Uh, the, fucking hell, we could be getting fucking 40 bucks a bird here. What the fuck are we clipping their wings for? Jesus. You're clipping our wings as people. Well, Steve Dave got asked through a dolly. He says, yes, Drunkle. Her name is Roxanne Dubois. And she's foreign. That's right. The steering wheel is on the other side. Oh, oh, that's a that's a Honda civilian. Thank you, Steve yeah. Dave. Okay, so for obvious news that isn't obvious to everyone, and it really bugs me that it's not, you don't need to use airplane modes on airplanes. I, honestly, the only reason I use airplane mode is to get off the phone with somebody. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, when I'm using an app says, and I don't Paul want his fucking ads to run, you're damn right I turn on airplane mode. Because the last time I updated it, the fucking it now has ads. Yeah, no more. Bastards. True, very true. Yeah, it hasn't been necessary for twenty years. The myth persists. Yeah, last time I was on an airplane. Ooh, make sure to turn off your devices. No, I doesn't affect nothing. Fuck off. Make I'm sure, sure you... I did at one point, but just like it did in hospitals. But that's that's all changed now. You know, they still do the thing when like you're in like a, a gas station and they say you're not allowed to use your phone like within a certain area. I have not seen that in forever. That was good because it was based on a complete fucking myth. Because uh, Top Gear did it. They fucking filled a caravan up with like a shit ton of gasoline and filled it up with phones and rang them and nothing happened. I use airplane mode to charge my phone faster. Yeah, there you go. Darren Root asks, what does That's airplane mode do? It shuts off any signals uh, coming to or fro the phone. Like, or the, yeah, so Wi-Fi, data, your stock standard signal, everything. It, you could basically still use your phone as a Walkman if you wanted to. Yeah, you're supposed a Walkman. I thought we would go way back. You, know? <laughs> you did. You, you successfully did. <laughs> I, it, it's supposed to make it signal neutral, but it doesn't, interestingly. And that's why in secure areas, it still doesn't count until you get inside the skiff. And I have a little side point if anyone was curious. So moving along, yeah. mystery ship that vanished with a crew of 32 members finally found after 120 years. 
No way! Yeah, it sailed into oh, the harbor, cool. man. A ghost ship. But it just, well, after 120 years, it just showed up at harbor. Yeah. Like the Mary Celeste. Not really. They found it at the bottom of the ocean. So Yeah, I, that makes more sense. It's I, still cool, though, I, isn't when it? I, when I read it, I was like, oh, I so want it to be a ghost ship that sails into the harbor. That would be, it just, yes. That would be dope. That would be haunting. Yeah, are you ready? For, because when I read the name of the ship, I'm like, oh, please tell me this is a ghost ship. The SS Nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> This this is the making of a video game of a, of 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 a, a creepy pasta of something you know what I mean Yeah this, there's but something here It was transporting coal to Melbourne to Melbourne Australia in July 1904 when it got caught in a powerful storm off of New South Wales and vanished with its 32 crew members Wow barely sociable video incoming am I right far in the weeks after the storm, bodies of crew members and fragments of the ship's wreckage washed ashore on Cronulla Beach, about 18 miles south of Sydney. Never knew what happened to it until now. I think they did. Like, if there was like parts of the ship and bodies washing up, you're pretty sure you know what happened to it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a clear story there. It sank, didn't it? Like, that's what happened. Fucking cool. Can you imagine be like being the person who gets to explore all that first of all? That's gotta be terrifying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean that that's some serious wreckage down there. That doesn't look like anything's mm. in, in any kind of good condition. But yeah, they, they found out what happened to the SS Nemesis. It Well, oh, that's a great name. Yeah, it really is. That's that that's something. Supreme Court justices expressed free speech concerns about GOP backed social media laws. NBC GOP. Oh, ah. okay. I, 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 Sin, you got to be sick of this too. The GOP backed or GOP supported or GOP. When, but uh, what? what? That's not Did a they scary explain word. What the law is? Yeah, they they do, but they really like run in fucking circles about it. They're talking about. Laws, particularly in Florida and Texas, that seek to impose restrictions on the ability of social media companies to moderate content. Because you guys are platforms, not publishers. If you want to be publishers, then go ahead. You know, we the old story here, right? It's like they, they want the best of both worlds. We want to be able to block any content that we want. Because we're a private company. We can block content. That's fine. That makes you a publisher, which also makes you have a legal liability for what you do publish. No, no, we're a platform. That has it, that's the, what it comes down to is they want their cake and they want to be able to eat it too. Absolutely. Yeah. We want to be able to decide what people are allowed to say on here without having to decide who. And then Yeah, yeah, it's, it's platforms acting like publishers, yeah. 100%. Yes. Yeah. And this is it's got to the Supreme Court. And it's like, but justices from across the ideological spectrum raised fears about the power and influence of big social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook questioning, questioned whether the laws should be blocked entirely. Can you imagine that? The whole of the Supreme Court, you know, Kagan and all of them there, Sotomayor, and they're like, I don't know about this. When they don't even know about it, the most censorious people there are concerned about it. Hmm. First Amendment free speech protections apply to government actions, not those of private entities, including companies. Thanks, NBC News. The journalistic outfit. They're the ones that are, you know, trying to push for, no, it's fine if social media companies block content. And the laws are about, no, they're not allowed to. Because you are a fucking platform, so behave like one. I don't see the problem here. Well, what you're mm -hmm. asking them to do is uh, racist, Polly. <laughs> Why isn't that, you know, a classic First Amendment violation for the state to come in and say, we're not going to allow you to enforce these sorts of restrictions, asked Liberal Justice Lane Kagan in reference to the floor. Okay, her position actually took, this is how hard she had to work. The company itself is comprising an entity which, yes, for certain purposes, a corporation can count as a person, but not in this case. There's no precedent for it. Kagan is actually arguing for a non-existent precedent of a company being able to voice its own. Um, the blocking of content is their freedom of expression. Wow. Reaching much? That is a hell of a reach. <laughs> yeah. I. I the, the last time that okay, I heard somebody... Okay, that's freedom go, of expression. That's fine. But you don't get any more freedom of government grants and stipends. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's not going to happen. Some justices, however, suggested the laws might have some legitimate applications against other platforms and services, including messages applications, which could, uh, which means the court stopped short of striking them down. You know what came into mind when I was reading through this? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Why wasn't Donald Trump allowed to block people? Right, because it's a public square when it's a government official. Oh, so you mean when all those social media companies blocked Donald Trump, they were violating his freedom of speech? No, he incited an insurrection. Right, it's totally different. It's now completely different. I, conservative, fellow conservatives, Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito seemed most sympathetic to the states. You mean understood the Constitution the best? I, I love the way he says this. You ready? Is it anything more than a euphemism for censorship? All right. Well, that, that, that just about, I mean, is there anything more? The laws were enacted There's by Republican. The, the laws were enacted by <gasps> Republican led states in 2021 after Twitter, Facebook, and others. Yeah, it's a long list all the way down to Pinterest and fucking Tumblr and every fucking buddy else that banned former President Donald Trump after his effort to overturn the 2020 presidential election and his supporters storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th in death and nine. Holy shit, did you manage to squeeze a lot of fright into that, NBC? Well, without that, they won't have much to talk about. And ended in his supporters. So let me see if I get this right. In his effort to overturn... It, okay, no, I just... <sighs> did you read the article in The Atlantic this week? It offered the suggestion that you know, to confirm the results of the election, if Donald Trump wins, the people that are, uh, when it comes for the time for Congress to confirm the results of the election, people could show up and protest to stop it. I'm not even kidding. That's an article. You can look it up in the Atlantic. You're encouraging people to interfere. That is with... a bold headline. What? Oh, actually, you should go protest it, by the way. Uh-huh. I, I, I just... Bold uh, and daring. I... Well, anyway, there it is. Uh, both laws that seek to impose restriction on content moderation require companies to provide individualized explanations to users when content is removed. Uh, that's amazing. The Florida law among other things, prevents companies from banning public figures running for political office and restricts shadow banning, whereby certain user content is made difficult to find by other users. The state claims that such actions are a form of censorship. <laughs> Do you think they buried this far enough down? Like, it, it's just like, after all, like, Trump, Trump, January 6th, I, I don't know, I just find it annoying. Okay, now for something more funny. Handcuffed prisoner outruns officers, escapes from hospital. <laughs> he was handcuffed behind his back and he outran the officers. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. He's a Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it, it look like he's uh, Naruto running? Does it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's just, no, he's handcuffed. He's in all purple and, and, it's, and he still managed to get away from the cops. What are you guys doing? Alan Bourdain, 29, who was in custody for car theft, absconded while being discharged from the Episcopal Hospital around 6.42 a.m. Philadelphia police did. So, like, he's out. Police launched an intense search but could not find him. The man is walking around handcuffed behind his back. But they couldn't find him. It'd be easy to find, really. He's... No, I... Well, I'm actually not considering this is the best photo they got. Maybe not so much. You know? He's one of the blur people. <laughs> maybe he just looks like that. Yeah, it's, I was going to say, maybe Bigfoot isn't uh, hard to <laughs> photograph. Maybe he's just blurry. Mm -hmm. All right. Man caught with 258 pounds of cocaine in Nebraska sentenced to prison. That's a lot of blow. Wow. How, where where was he hiding that on his body? No, 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 no. You get, get this. I, I love it when shit like this happens. In his okay. body? No, no, no. On August 2022, he was pulled over on Interstate 80 near Hershey for a license plate violation. Nebraska State Trooper searched his vehicle and found the cocaine, which weighed a total. Yeah, this in his car. And his license plate wasn't kosher. If you if you're rocking around with over 200 pounds of cocaine, just make sure your tags are up to date, guys. Right. Wait, Check your brake lights. Yeah. Best possible idea, rent a car. 
they have all their license plate shit straightened out. It's just what they do. It's part of everything before they yeah. Yeah, yeah, just just yeah, rent sure. a car. And, and have your car rental shit right there. Make sure it's rented in the person's name, who's driving, et cetera. Like, I mean, seriously, you're transporting a lot of blow between states. Why are you driving with your fucking jalopy and a license plate that's written on cardboard in the back window? I, jalopy? All right, Jughead. <laughs> I've been reading a lot of Mickey Spillane, and Mike Hammer always calls his car his jalopy. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my belted felt like that's what he calls his, his busted up hat and got into my jalopy this is great line drunkle you would have loved it it's a very main silver bar ball noir ask right he's like so he, he get he parks his car right and he just wants to sit outside this guy's apartment away from him to get home and he's like i turned the car off the engine turned over five or six more times like a man in a hospital that's afraid to go to sleep because he won't wake up I'm like, oh my god, that's that's some serious that's image. A bit over the top, isn't it? Like, really, you're, gonna, you're describing an engine here, mate. For fuck's sake! <laughs> well, it's just it, Mickey Spillane, man. That's it's it's seriously, yeah. He, he's the guy that they started naming hard-boiled noir fiction after. Ah, uh, yeah, Jalopy. Uh, Hoopty is that better? Hoopty's good. You like who? Good. Up top, say, you know, the hoopty. Okay. <clears throat> so why do we have leap day? We remind you. So you can forget for another four years. Okay, let's just look, look at this. Oh, uh, look, this... it evens out the, the calendar, doesn't it? Yes, because, it does. Uh, because the Earth is on a slight slant. No. No, uh, because it's like more of a, an oval shape. So, no. Be because, because, because uh, fucking... they make sure time still works. Like so, they just so, stick in an extra day to make sure everything's running right. Yeah. Well, well, otherwise, uh, okay. Like, you know, apparently, uh, this is like blown up in my face because this article is quite long, and I'm like, "You so, got it. You got to be kidding me." NPR taking fucking public money, taxpayer money, my money, to write shit like this. Why do we have leap day? Okay. A day's 365 years long, or years 365 days long, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not actually. It takes 300, around 365 and a quarter days to get around the sun. Okay. Yeah. So every four years, you had a full day, yeah. which is tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. February 29th, one more day. And then, it, like Sin said, it all evens out. It just makes the calendar work because it actually takes 365 and a quarter days to get around the sun. So every four days, there's your yeah. full quarter, add a full day, everything evens out. That's it. There. That, 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 that's, it's not even a full paragraph. And they just go on and on and on and fuck you, NPR. Well, because the I, fucking Caesar came in, added two more fucking months because he was such a big added twat. Uh, and, and now, like, for some reason, every four years, that's the, the, the one day that a woman is allowed to ask a man to marry them. And if he says no, then he has to buy her a gift. The advocate is like, I thought this was common knowledge. It, it, more, like, I mean, since as right as it needs to be, it makes the year even out. There, that's it. That's really the only answer required. Why? We, we just yeah. make sure time still works properly. Eh, Basically, I, yeah. It's just yeah, it's like, it, you know, adding a bit of oil to the engine so it doesn't turn over like a dying man in the hospital and if i read through the article because i you know okay why did this all start because they put it under the topic of strange news what i bet they do that every fucking four years though don't they <laughs> yeah and speak with this smarmy okay we're gonna have to explain it to the idiots i don't know if you ever listen to npr it is just it's people from the upper east side liberals like upper east side of new york liberals just Ah, people don't understand why Trump's evil. Okay, look, when you're talking about grabbing women by their private parts, like they still talk about that. It because there's nothing else to talk about. Not and women for them. Love that. And I thought that they might be getting interesting. Like Rachel Treesman here, that she might get interesting and start talking about leap seconds. Because, you know, no, it's not actually 365 and a quarter, it's 365.24, or I think one nine. So it's like, wait a minute, does a quarter not really work out? Yeah, so you actually have things called leap seconds and whatever, and that's when it starts getting really technical how calendars work. I thought that they might get into that. No, they don't. They just talk about the fucking Caesar and what he did and so on. And, and it's not even right. The stuff they say, well, I fucking knew it was Caesar. I fucking knew it. Uh, this, this, it's always back to Rome. I did. Not that Rome. <laughs> Fucking bugs me, Cal. All right. Who wants to see a test vehicle launched off of the deck of a fucking destroyer, uh, uh, aircraft carrier? Huh? What? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Insane moment. 
when the USS John F. Kennedy supercarrier catapults an 80,000 pound test vehicle. It, this is really cool. I was showing this to Valine last night. The video captures a moment. So it's, they're overloading the system to, for mm. test purposes, like a test load in a, in a so rifle barrel tested. set. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So they just, it's just a big heavy box with wheels that they can load to different weights and different balances of weight to see what's what. But anyway, here's it doing its thing. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, big carrier. Nice. Yeah, Good yeah. drone work. Good yeah. Drone work. It really is. Nice and steady. Look at that. There it is. Docked and then they're getting ready. Hi, Doug. Get on with it. <laughs> Loves his job. Yeah. There's a the test vehicle from above. Oh, that's, and that's it, the it's off. Right, off we go. Like, Come on. Just, oh. <laughs> you, you said Ed. Woo! That's eighty thousand pounds, bro. They get it going one hundred and fifty miles an hour. Oh, it skipped. It skipped. <laughs> yeah. We got that right. Thumbs up. What? Yo! I just I can't get over the weight of that thing that they're able to get that mask on. It's very impressive. I'd is there like, is there sound on this? Is there sound of it rumbling? Part? Look, everyone signed it. Oh, yeah. There is sound, but it's all like... Send it. It's all very <laughs> Danger Zone type music, you know, that's just playing. Uh, oh, I wanted to hear the rumble. <laughs> that's awesome. This is like the, um, uh, the fucking one of them Red Bull challenges. D yeah. It really is just a heavy box. I, I can dig it. But you ready? And look at it go. And this... Whee! <laughs> oh well look, if drag racing were more like this i think i would be into it you know right <laughs> they, uh they ran this test 13 times in one day because it's on a line they pull it back and bring it up and do it again because they're running various tests oh, at, the, at this much pressure what a day uh, that must have been yeah. as well <laughs> if we do a crash system like or, or a, a, a shit what do they call it a crash run i think where it's the system is completely cold now how fast can we get it up and running to launch this thing you know and then from it running hot and ready to go how long does it take etc and it's like this is really cool i'd like to see their data <laughs> so why did that not coincide with like bring your son to work day oh right? yeah 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 this is the data bring your kids around it's like this is what dad does all day and it's like that's cool <laughs> Electromagnetic in the new new. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, there's not a man on this planet who doesn't like a big splash like that. Yeah. yeah. It was you know, very cool. Yeah. It's like digging holes at the beach or, you know, finding a big old thing of ice and throwing it on the ground. That's awesome. Good find, Polly. Yeah, it was really cool when I when I and then I was telling Belene about that because she's all about the launch and stuff. And I, it was looking up the uh, we we're talking about the the heaviest plane that because uh, that's significantly over. I was over. just about to ask. Yeah. Actually. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. She had all sorts of stuff and things to say about it. Like she's like eighty thousand. That is well past the weight of a. And, and I said they're stress tests, so, uh, as you said, they're, they're maximum load tests, like what is it capable of doing? So they're adding more, you saw the test cars of different weights and stuff, and they're just, mm. how fast will it go at this weight, at that weight? And I'm like, it's really cool that engineers and technicians are doing, I mean, of course they do all that shit, but it's awesome to see them at their job, man. Very cool stuff. And I find this kind of stuff funny. The US deploys the, <clears throat> the world's biggest warship near Israel, and Hamas sends chilling warning. Guys, 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 hey. Hamas, you, you have far four, you know, Mickey Martyr. You've got a bunch of Kalishnikovs. These guys have the time to launch and uh, test vehicles off and dry dock. Like, shut up. I, I, yeah, I think you just, I don't think you understand. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, do, do you see what you're up against? Do you have any idea like, on the same page? I love that these two things are happening. I, it, Hamas is going to get angry. They're going to go out there in a dinghy and two guys with AKs. Like, you know, it's... <laughs> Like, the Navy's kind of hardcore, guys. You might want to just chill with the warnings. I... We're just going to throw 80,000 pound bricks at them. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we run out of munitions, which we won't, because we could just have those, you know, airdrop to us. I, you know, craft can land here as well as launch from here. You know, we're very good at that. I, we'll, we'll just launch test vehicles at you if necessary, you fucks. I, uh, 
in uh, no type of shit news, you got to be kidding me. Elon Musk sounds, quote, alarm bell over, quote, flood of illegal migrants entering America. This is supposed to be shocking, and I can't believe Elon Musk was willing to say this. This is the way this article is presented. Isn't that wrong? They're immigrants, not migrants. Right. No, they're you aliens. Migrate, but... migrate, you leave, don't you? They are leaving somewhere else and the, coming mi here. Migrants is, well, I mean, we've talked about this enough, Drunkle. I mean, like, that's just the word to be to be used now is migrants. You are not to be using but, but other it's words. Wrong. I hear, it's wrong. I hear you. I hear you. To migrate and to emigrate are different things. I hear you. I hear you. But people that are technically a migrant is just somebody moving from one place to another. Well, no, no, it's, it's moving to another place. No, that, sorry, no, that's moving away from a place. Migrate is move away. Immigrate is move to. Yeah, they're, uh, I'm not looking to get into a semantic debate over it. The point is... Well, no, no, we agree. I understand that. But they're just... You, I mean, is this because fucking the word immigrant is not allowed anymore? That's right. Because it's, it used to be... It was alien, illegal immigrant... And then immigrant, we don't want that at all. So now it's just migrant. For a while, it was undocumented resident. And do you remember that one? Mm. And now they've just, they've just gone migrant. And I've been caught saying, I remember saying, I was calling you out for it. And you're like, what? I'm like, no, man. It's not, no, I do it too. Everybody from the new, Fox does it. Everyone does it. They've used the word. If you repeat the new speak enough, eventually you'll just say it without thinking about it. And that was the plan. They're just migrants. They're all refugees. Every one of them. No, they're not. And and lawyers. This is supposed to be a shocking statement that Musk was willing to say this. You, you ready? Did, I don't know if you read the tweet. I didn't. This is what he wrote. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh. Dams are bursting all over the country. America is only 4% of the Earth's population. If only 1% of the rest of the Earth moves here, it would crush all essential services. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that guy so much. <laughs> Cherry Mikulak, man. I, it's, it's, it's one more time. <laughs> that was him setting a world record for a mag dump with a 50 Barrett. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Gearfully, thank you very much for the 1250 and the 50 Barrett mag dump. Uh, don't touch America's boats. We're the only ones that can sink our boats. <laughs> That's right. We'll scuttle our yeah, shit. I, I not you. A, it's just. I put up a. It was a, a TikTok I saw about that. I put it on uh, Twitter. I'll I'll have it for the show Friday. It's pretty good. I. The um. So the the loss of life uh, uh, with the attack on the USS Cole a number of years back was tragic. And I don't mean to make light of it, but the intention was to sink that ship. Oh yeah, how'd that work out for you? It didn't even fully disable the ship. It didn't even remove its power systems from operation. They blew a massive hole in the side of the vessel and all of the emergency bulkheads acted as they were designed to. And a, a tragic loss of US service members' lives. And, and fuck you, you jihadi bastards. But they still didn't even sink the ship. They were absolutely convinced it was going to. And they had to blow themselves up to do it. I just This is who you're up against. And Japanese did it. Yeah, yeah, but they came with like actual fighter craft. Not a lot of point, really, was there? Not a lot of fighting happened. Ooh. It was really just po point your plane at a boat. and. Oh, in that, in that sense. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I thought you meant Pearl Harbor, not later on in the war. They were kamikaze in at Pearl Harbor, were they not? I don't think so. Yes. I, well, no hesitancy I said it with. I don't think so, but wide open to being corrected. I don't think so. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, but either way, it didn't work. Well, I mean, they did end up destroying well, a large amount of the, the fleet, but the American crash building program, uh, Rebuilt that fleet some kind of fucking quick. I do one didn't rebuild yeah. it, but it, it, you know, replaced the surface fleet really fucking quickly. Like again, this is who you're up against. I, and if it weren't for that, then uh, the tide of war wouldn't have changed as it did. So really, it was the the Japanese uh, lost the war as opposed to the the Allies winning it. I guess that is one way of looking at it. But 
I'm ringing the alarm bell because a flood of illegals is crushing the country. How is anything he's saying not completely true? Dams are bursting over the country. America is only 4% of the Earth's population. If only 1% of the rest of the world moves here, that would crush all essential services. And still people are like, America is the richest country in the world. Everyone should be able to move here. Anybody who wants to come here should be able to come here. Immigration is a human right. Uh, no, it's it, not. It, why would you want to destroy the quality of life and starve I don't know how many people that are currently here because you want to let everyone in. That is not humane. You're not thinking clearly. Like, I understand humane concern. That is a good thing. But you've been duped into thinking that you know, adolescent thinking is a good idea and a good support for policy. Let everyone go where they want. And it's like, yeah, but that'll destroy everything. And nobody ever bothered to explain that to you. You're I mean, that, this is uh, analogous to a, a, a plague of locusts. Because then as soon as that's crushed, they'll just move on to another place and then crush that place and then somewhere else and then crush that place. And then before you know it, everything's crushed and everyone starves. I mean, you don't even need... Look, you, you had the article about fucking Pittsburgh police being given 52 more days off a year. They, they don't even need fucking a wave of fucking illegal people coming in for their essential services to go, go under. It's already in that dire fucking straits in some places. So well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. <laughs> um, Gamer Valine, thank you for the 350. Oh no, the USS Cole is a training device in boot camp now. Look up the USS Samuel B. Roberts in 1988. An Iranian mine literally broke the keel, the backbone, and they limped the ship to a safe port. Yeah, they just... If America ever went full Roman... Oh man. I just Well I add another month. No. Yeah. No, I just mean like no reserve, you know, no diplomacy, no quarter, you know. It just Nazi, thank you for the dollar. Um the kamikaze tactic was only implemented in forty four once most of the IJN had been disabled or sunk. Drunkle is Welsh. Not Welsh. True. Not Welsh. Now, if you got that bit wrong about me being Welsh, then it really brings what, everything else you said into question, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the second uh, tweet that he sent out that's uh, gotten so many hackles raised here. Biden's strategy is very simple. One, get as many illegals in the country as possible. Two, legalize them to create a permanent majority, a one-party state. That's why they're encouraging so much illegal immigration. Simple, yet effective. No lies detected. Uh, yeah. Wow. And that makes him a hateful man, apparently. Yeah, yeah. so this article is, is, is Musk racist, then. Despite the fact that he's right on the money and everything he said. Yeah. Uh, Garth Godelenda asked, nice Dave G. I appreciate the reference. Uh, like acknowledging reality is racism, is it? D d d yeah. Brandon Judd, <laughs> the president of the National Border Council, slammed Biden's planned upcoming visit to the border as a quote self-serving exercise as he insisted the president had years to devise a strategy to tackle Ill illegal immigration and did nothing with it yeah so the president hasn't even got years come on <laughs> yeah and it's, it's they're still using the 11 million number sin still oh there's 11 million okay. illegal immigrants in the country they think Three quarters of that number have crossed the border, according to your own agencies, Biden, in a number of like, like this year. Yeah, like in, in, in a very short range time. And it's like, well, it hasn't really been over the past nine months. It's been over the past 15 that that's happened. Do you, are you listening to yourself? I, Homeland Security uh, was. Uh, uh, who was it? It was the deputy secretary. Who said that? It's, it, it, it wasn't in the last, he said, it wasn't in the last 10 months. It was in the last 15. It's like, but that number comprises three quarters of what your own administration claims is the whole number of 11 million. I, how are you not saying 28 million then? I, it doesn't matter. They're, lies, lies, and more lies. Like, yeah. Some random asshole, thank you for the dollar. That's really what they wrote. Some random assholes. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar. Don't sink our ships. We are perfectly capable. We are perfectly capable women behind the wheel. We can do it ourselves. Don't sink our ships. <laughs> okay. 
crack on female drivers. Sure. Um, okay. Titular article. Ready, Sin? Mm. You ready? Yes, sir. You ready? Okay. Fatal crash and police chase doesn't count, Kansas says, <laughs> because it was on purpose. It, oh. Oh. This is the most, well, actually thing I have ever heard. When Bonner Springs police officer began chasing a man in June 2022 for an expired license plate. Oh, wow. Speeds escalated over 100 miles per hour. When the officers intentionally hit the car to bring the close to an end, a maneuver called a tactical vehicle intervention, or TVI, <laughs> the okay. driver, Darnell Vincent of Kansas City, Kansas, okay. was ejected and killed. But it so doesn't get included. Wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> that, that's another crime he was committing. Expired license, no seatbelt, ejected and killed. But it doesn't count towards federal statistics because they did it on purpose. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold, hold on real quick. Oh my God. I would love to know if this is worth dying over. No, what the license? It's me. I yell. It's what I do. VBTK, thank you for the $25. VBTK? What's up, man? Yeah. How's it going? Big Kayla. Thank you for the $25. Do not touch me boats or something. I don't know. It's, it's a great little meme. You guys will like it. It'll be on Friday. <laughs> don't touch me boats or something. Oh, dude, it's a whole thing. <laughs> You want to get you ready to get angry, Sin? We're gonna, we're, we're, yeah. This is not leaving on a palate cleanser, but a palate disguster. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, I just want to pull the stat up. It's right here at the beginning somewhere. Uh, a tactical vehicle intervention. That is so priceless. Yeah, he's called a crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 hit him and you killed him. What? Why? Why is this? Yeah. I. It could be, it was a bit, yeah, it didn't say that, that, you know, the driver was ejected and died. It says he was ejected and killed. <laughs> Tactical vehicle. Fucking hell. Yeah. It's like enhanced interrogation again, is it? Oh, you mean torture? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so over the, fuck, I remember the data anyway, over the period that they uh, did the analysis in not the whole of Kansas, just in the Kansas City <clears throat> metro area, they had gotten into um, multiple chases and nine people had died. Eight of them were uninvolved bystanders. Jesus. That's just amazing to me. It's like, and... The question we started talking about in voice chat last night in Discord was like, I, I think what needs to be connected to these to really bring that number into, you know, everyone loves contextualization now, right? Let's contextualize that. How many of the chases were initiated by the police officers as opposed to like, you know, the drive down the, the didn't need to happen. The guy took off and they fought. If the guy has an expired license plate and you know what he looks like and you've got a car description and a license plate number, as I said last night, investigators are actually really kind of good at their job. They're obviously better than the officers who are just like fucking Mad Maxing people off the road. I Find them later. Oh, well, we don't want people rushing. Then institute higher level crimes for escaping vehicularly from a yes. police stop. Yeah. yeah, good point. Yeah. If, if you're I mean, serious how, how about people not running, okay. Dude, you ran from an expired license, but now you're looking at a mandatory minimum of five years because of the community's life you put in danger by running. So you police officers apparently are a bigger threat to the community by chasing, not by yourselves, but by chasing than anything else. Mm. Out of nine fatalities, eight of them were innocent bystanders. Why'd you engage in the chase? To protect the community. You've completely failed in your goal then. I mean, isn't that akin to like, you know, a, an unarmed suspect running into a crowd and 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 the policeman opens fire 
Like you're putting more people at danger for something that could be taken care of in a much more policey way. <laughs> yeah. That's a horrible statistic, though. Eight of them were like just innocent bystanders. Yeah. Jesus. The, the star found that police engage in dangerous high-speed chases every day around the metro, often for the most trivial offenses, trivial offenses like license tag infractions, which have led to crashes, injuries, and deaths. This is what I mean, like attached numbers to those things, uh, or excuse me, attached particular crimes that initiated the chase to begin with. It's like, well, that guy, hey, uh, suspicion of, of DUI. And it's like, you didn't even, like, it was just suspicion? You thought you smelled alcohol? Or, or no, not really. His eyes were just a little red. And so we, we decided to engage in a high-speed, high-danger pursuit that ended up running over two civilians. Really? Oh, well, that was worth it to protect the community. And I like the way uh, mm -hmm. Avocus says it. No adrenaline rush if you catch them later. I, I think there needs to be a policy change in the Kansas metro, Kansas City metro area now. Agreed. I mean, you guys have a million drones and helicopters and every other fucking aerial thing, and they want aerial supremacy. And I'm like, you don't even need all that aerial shit. Like, oh, let's just follow them or whatever. Like I said, investigators are very good at what they do. They're going to track this guy down. And if you're looking at a mandatory minimum for driving away from the police, I mean, and they're all minim, uh, uh, minor infractions to begin with anyway. Why are you putting... Uh, anyway, so that's... I... Hence the title of the today's stream. Thames to breaks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fatal crash. Doesn't count. It was on purpose. They intended to whack that guy out. But... Well, they fucking succeeded. Indeed. Hell Yeah. That brings us to the end of our show. Did you, I, should I start ending the streams on like dark ass notes? I mean, why stop what you've already been doing? Darker. <laughs> <laughs> well, people don't come here to get cheered up. Look at that otter. He's not happy. I, I could, but you know, I could end the stream on something absolutely frivolous just for the kicks. I enjoy a good laugh. Yeah, who doesn't? Speaking of a good laugh, how's the game as you're going, Drunkle? That was 100% accurate. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last night, uh, well, I discovered that in Robocop, you could grab hold of someone, throw them in the air, and shoot them as they fall to the floor. That was fucking fun. And today, yes. unfortunately, I discovered that uh, on Brewpub Simulator, my save got deleted as well because of William Gates and his inferior product making me reinstall Windows. So we had to start again. The new pub is called The Pint of No Return. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. And we had a ripping good time. Uh, I was awful at it, and I I lost me malts, and they're taunting me. That's over on twitch.tv slash Drunkle Plays. We were back on uh, Friday for some Boulder's Gate. Hopefully some Knights of the Old Republic on Saturday. If not, we'll be carrying on with the brew pub. And it is the Jackbox Olymp Olympics Season 2, Round 2 on Sunday. You definitely want to be there for that one. Twitch.tv slash Drunkle Plays. Fucking sweet. Sin. Nice. What about you, man? Yes. You got some content for us going up? Yeah, go check out the Sin and Sash channel for all fun stuff over there. And there's where you find it. So, Drunkle. Hmm. Fuck, I didn't think that was going to work. Huh. Well, you say my name, I respond. But... No, I, don't, yeah. just, uh, I didn't think my sound pad was even turned on, but it is. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's say they can't live without us. Where are they going to find us next so they can, you know, have reason I mean, to live? They don't have to worry their cold, dead little hearts because we're going to be back on Friday on the Silent Sin channel at 10.30 p.m. GMT, 5.30 p.m. ST, 4.30 Central, and 5.30 a.m. on Christmas Island, Polly Bobs. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're going to see you over there wow. then. I'll be there. <laughs> Drunk will be there. Sin will definitely be there because, I mean, it's his channel for fuck's sake. Thank you Indeed. all for the very, very generous donations. You guys are awesome. Best chat online. We'll see you over there. Have a good night, everyone.